Ezekiel chapter 1. And it cometh to pass, in the thirtieth year, in the fourth, month, in the fifth of the month, and I, am, in the midst of the removed by the river Chebar, the heavens have been opened, and I see visions of God. In the fifth of the month, it is the fifth year of the removal of the king Jehoiakim. Hath the word of Jehovah certainly been unto Ezekiel son of Buzi the priest, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river Chebar, and there is on him there a hand of Jehovah. And I look, and lo, a tempestuous wind is coming from the north, a great cloud, and fire catching itself, and brightness to it round about, and out of its midst as the color of copper, out of the midst of the fire. And out of its midst, is, a likeness of four living creatures, and this, is, their appearance a likeness of man, is, to them. And four faces, are, to each, and four wings, are, to each of them. And their feet, are, straight feet, and the sole of their feet, is, as a sole of a calf's foot, and they are sparkling as the color of bright brass. And hands of man under their wings, on their four sides, and their faces and their wings, are, to them four. Joining one unto another, are, their wings, they turn not round in their going, each straight forward they go. As to the likeness of their faces, the face of a man, and the face of a lion, toward the right, are, to them four, and the face of an ox on the left, are, to them four, and the face of an eagle, are, to them four. And their faces and their wings are separate from above, to each, are, two joining together, and two are covering their bodies. And each straight forward they go, whither the spirit is to go, they go, they turn not round in their going. As to the likeness of the living creatures, their appearances, are, as coals of fire, burning as the appearance of lamps it is going up and down between the living creatures, and brightness, is, to the fire, and out of the fire is going forth lightning. And the living creatures are running, and turning back, as the appearance of the flash. And I see the living creatures, and lo, one wheel, is, in the earth, near the living creatures, at its four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their works, is, as the color of beryl, and one likeness, is, to them four, and their appearances and their works, are, as it were the wheel in the midst of the wheel. On their four sides, in their going they go, they turn not round in their going. As to their rings, they are both high and fearful, and their rings, are, full of eyes round about them four. And in the going of the living creatures, the wheels go beside them, and in the living creatures being lifted up from off the earth, lifted up are the wheels. Whither the Spirit is to go, they go, thither the Spirit, is, to go, and the wheels are lifted up over against them, for a living Spirit, is, in the wheels. In their going, they go, and in their standing, they stand, and in their being lifted up from off the earth. Lifted up are the wheels over against them, for a living spirit, is, in the wheels. And a likeness, is, over the heads of the living creatures of an expanse, as the color of the fearful ice, stretched out over their heads from above. And under the expanse their wings, are, straight, one toward the other, to each are two covering on this side, and to each are two covering on that side, their bodies. And I hear the noise of their wings, as the noise of many waters, as the noise of the mighty one, in their going, the noise of tumult, as the noise of a camp, in their standing they let fall their wings. And there is a voice from above the expanse, that, is, above their head, in their standing they let fall their wings. And above the expanse that, is, over their head, as an appearance of a sapphire stone, is, the likeness of a throne, and on the likeness of the throne a likeness, as the appearance of man upon it from above. 
And I see as the color of copper, as the appearance of fire within it round about, from the appearance of his loins and upward, and from the appearance of his loins and downward, I have seen as the appearance of fire, and brightness, is, to it round about. As the appearance of the bow that is in a cloud in a day of rain, so, is, the appearance of the brightness round about. Ezekiel chapter 2 It, is, the appearance of the likeness of the honor of Jehovah, and I see, and fall on my face, and I hear a voice speaking, and he saith unto me, Son of man, stand on thy feet, and I speak with thee. And there doth come into me a spirit, when he hath spoken unto me, and it causeth me to stand on my feet, and I hear him who is speaking unto me. And he saith unto me, Son of man, I am sending thee unto the sons of Israel unto nations who are rebels, who have rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me, unto this selfsame day. And the sons, are, brazen-faced and hard-hearted to whom I am sending thee, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah. And they, whether they hear, or whether they forbear, for a rebellious house they, are, have known that a prophet hath been in their midst. And thou, son of man, thou art not afraid of them, yea, of their words thou art not afraid, for briars and thorns are with thee, and near scorpions thou art dwelling, of their words thou art not afraid, and of their faces thou art not affrighted, for they, are, a rebellious house. And thou hast spoken my words unto them, whether they hear or whether they forbear, for they, are, rebellious. And thou, son of man, hear that which I am speaking unto thee, thou art not rebellious like the rebellious house, open thy mouth, and eat that which I am giving unto thee. And I look, and lo, a hand, is, sent forth unto me, and lo, in it a roll of a book. And he spreadeth it before me, and it is written in front and behind, and written on it, are, lamentations, and mourning, and wa. Ezekiel chapter 3. And he saith unto me, Son of man, that which thou findest eat, eat this roll, and go, speak unto the house of Israel. And I open my mouth, and he causeth me to eat this roll. And he saith unto me, Son of man, thy belly thou dost feed, and thy bowels thou dost fill with this roll that I am giving unto thee, and I eat it and it is in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he saith unto me, Son of man, go, enter in unto the house of Israel, and thou hast spoken with my words unto them. For, not unto a people deep of lip and heavy of tongue, art, thou sent, unto the house of Israel. Not unto many peoples, deep of lip and heavy of tongue, whose words thou dost not understand. If I had not sent thee unto them, they, they do hearken unto thee. But the house of Israel are not willing to hearken unto thee, for they are not willing to hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are brazen-faced and strong-hearted. Lo, I have made thy face strong against their face, and thy forehead strong against their forehead. As an adamant harder than a rock I have made thy forehead, thou dost not fear them, nor art thou affrighted before them, for a rebellious house, are, they. And he saith unto me, Son of man, all my words, that I speak unto thee, receive with thy heart, and with thine ears hear. And go, enter in unto the removed, unto the sons of thy people, and thou hast spoken unto them, and hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, whether they hear, or whether they forbear. And lift me up doth a spirit, and I hear behind me a noise, a great rushing, blessed, is, the honor of Jehovah from his place. Even a noise of the wings of the living creatures touching one another, and a noise of the wheels over against them, even a noise of a great rushing. And a spirit hath lifted me up, and doth take me away, and I go bitterly, in the heat of my spirit, and the hand of Jehovah on me, is, strong. And I come in unto the removed, at Telahib, 
who are dwelling at the river Chebar, and where they are dwelling I also dwell seven days, causing astonishment in their midst. And it cometh to pass, at the end of seven days, that there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, a watchman I have given thee to the house of Israel, and thou hast heard from my mouth a word, and hast warned them from me. In my saying to the wicked, Thou dost surely die, and thou hast not warned him, nor hast spoken to warn the wicked from his wicked way, so that he doth live, he yet the wicked, in his iniquity dieth, and his blood from thy hand I require. And thou, because thou hast warned the wicked, and he hath not turned back from his wickedness, and from his wicked way, he in his iniquity dieth, and thou thy soul hast delivered. And in the turning back of the righteous from his righteousness, and he hath done perversity, and I have put a stumbling block before him, he dieth, because thou hast not warned him, in his sin he dieth, and not remembered is his righteousness that he hath done, and his blood from thy hand I require. And thou, because thou hast warned him, the righteous, that the righteous sin not, and he hath not sinned, he surely liveth, because he hath been warned, and thou thy soul hast delivered. And there is on me there a hand of Jehovah, and he saith to me, Rise, go forth to the valley, and there I do speak with thee. And I rise and go forth unto the valley, and lo, there the honor of Jehovah is standing as the honor that I had seen by the river Chebar, and I fall on my face. And come unto me doth a spirit, and causeth me to stand on my feet, and he speaketh with me, and saith unto me, Go in, be shut up in the midst of thy house. And thou, son of man, lo, they have put on thee thick bands, and have bound thee with them, and thou goest not forth in their midst. And thy tongue I caused to cleave unto thy palate, and thou hast been dumb, and art not to them for a reprover, for a rebellious house, are, they. And in my speaking with thee, I do open thy mouth, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, The hearer doth hear, and the forbearer doth forbear, for a rebellious house, are, they. Ezekiel chapter 4 And thou, Son of man, take to thee a brick, and thou hast put it before thee, and hast graven on it a city, Jerusalem. And hast placed against it a siege, and builded against it a fortification, and poured out against it a mount, and placed against it camps, yea, set thou against it battering rams round about. And thou, take to thee an iron pan, and thou hast made it a wall of iron between thee and the city and thou hast prepared thy face against it, and it hath been in a siege, yea, thou hast laid siege against it. Assign it, is, to the house of Israel. And thou, lie on thy left side, and thou hast placed the iniquity of the house of Israel on it, the number of the days that thou least on it, thou bearest their iniquity. And I, I have laid on thee the years of their iniquity, the number of days, three hundred and ninety days, and thou hast borne the iniquity of the house of Israel. And thou hast completed these, and hast lain on thy right side, a second time, and hast borne the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days, a day for a year, a day for a year I have appointed to thee. And unto the siege of Jerusalem thou dost prepare thy face, and thine arm, is, uncovered, and thou hast prophesied concerning it. And lo, I have put on thee thick bands, and thou dost not turn from side to side till thy completing the days of thy siege. And thou, take to thee wheat, and barley, and beans, and lentils, and millet, and spelt, and thou hast put them in one vessel, and made them to thee for bread, the number of the days that thou art lying on thy side, three hundred and ninety days, thou dost eat it. And thy food that thou dost eat, is, by weight, twenty shekels daily, from time to time thou dost eat it. And water by measure thou dost drink, a sixth part of the hin, from time to time thou dost drink, it. A barley cake thou dost eat it, and it with dung, the filth of man, 
thou dost bake before their eyes. And Jehovah saith, Thus do the sons of Israel eat their defiled bread among the nations whither I drive them. And I say, Ah, Lord Jehovah, lo, my soul is not defiled, and carcass, and torn thing, I have not eaten from my youth, even till now, nor come into my mouth hath abominable flesh. And he saith unto me, See, I have given to thee bullock's dung instead of man's dung, and thou hast made thy bread by it. And he saith unto me, Son of man, lo, I am breaking the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they have eaten bread by weight and with fear, and water by measure and with astonishment, they do drink. So that they lack bread and water, and have been astonished one with another, and been consumed in their iniquity. Ezekiel chapter 5 And thou, son of man, take to thee a sharp weapon, the barber's razor thou dost take to thee, and thou hast caused it to pass over thy head and over thy beard, and thou hast taken to thee weighing scales and apportioned them. A third part with fire thou dost burn in the midst of the city, at the fullness of the days of the siege, and thou hast taken the third part, thou dost smite with a weapon round about it, and the third part thou dost scatter to the wind, and a weapon I draw out after them. And thou hast taken thence a few in number, and hast bound them in thy skirts. And of them thou dost take again, and hast cast them unto the midst of the fire, and hast burned them in the fire, out of it cometh forth a fire unto all the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, This, is, Jerusalem, in the midst of the nations I have set her, and round about her, are, the lands. And she changeth my judgments into wickedness more than the nations, and my statutes more than the lands that are round about her, for against my judgments they have kicked, and my statutes they have not walked in them. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of your multiplying above the nations that are around you, in my statutes ye have not walked, and my judgments ye have not done, according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you ye have not done. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, even I, and I have done in thy midst judgments, before the eyes of the nations. And I have done in thee that which I have not done, and that which I do not its like again, because of all thine abominations. Therefore fathers do eat sons in thy midst, and sons eat their fathers, and I have done in thee judgments, and have scattered all thy remnant to every wind. Therefore, I live an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, because my sanctuary thou hast defiled, with all thy detestable things, and with all thine abominations, mine I pitieth not, and I also spare not. Do not even I also diminish? Thy third part, by pestilence they die, and by famine are consumed in thy midst, and the third part, by sword they fall round about thee, and the third part, to every wind I scatter, and a sword I draw out after them. And completed hath been mine anger, and I have caused my fury to rest on them, and I have been comforted, and they have known that I, Jehovah, have spoken in my zeal, in my completing my fury on them. And I give thee for a waste, and for a reproach among nations that, are, round about thee, before the eyes of every passerby. And it hath been a reproach and a reviling, an instruction and an astonishment, to nations that, are, round about thee, in my doing in thee judgments, in anger and fury, and in furious reproofs, Jehovah, have spoken. In my sending the evil arrows of famine among them, that have been for destruction, that I send to destroy you, and famine I am adding upon you, and I have broken to you the staff of bread. And I have sent on you famine and evil beasts, and they have bereaved thee, and pestilence and blood pass over on thee, and a sword I do bring in against thee, I, Jehovah, have spoken. Ezekiel chapter 6 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, 
set thy face unto mountains of Israel, and prophesy concerning them. And thou hast said, Mountains of Israel, hear ye a word of the Lord Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah to the mountains, and to the hills, to the streams, and to the valleys, Lo, I, I am bringing in against you a sword, and I have destroyed your high places. And desolated have been your altars, and broken your images, and I have caused your wounded to fall before your idols. And put the carcasses of the sons of Israel before their idols, and scattered your bones round about your altars. In all your dwellings the cities are laid waste, and the high places are desolate, so that waste and desolate are your altars, and broken and ceased have your idols, and cut down have been your images, and blotted out have been your works. And fallen hath the wounded in your midst, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. And I have caused some to remain in their being to you the escaped of the sword among nations, in your being scattered through lands. And remembered me have your escaped among nations, whither they have been taken captive, because I have been broken with their heart that is going a whoring, that hath turned aside from off me, and with their eyes they are going a whoring after their idols, and they have been loathsome in their own faces, for the evils that they have done all their abominations. And they have known that I am Jehovah, not for naught have I spoken to do to them this evil. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Smite with thy palm, and stamp with thy foot, and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, who by sword, by famine, and by pestilence do fall. The far off by pestilence dieth, and the near by sword falleth, and the left and the besieged by famine dieth, and I have completed my fury upon them. And ye have known that I am Jehovah, in their wounded being in the midst of their idols, round about their altars, on every high hill, on all tops of mountains, and under every green tree, and under every thick oak, the place where they gave sweet fragrance to all their idols. And I have stretched out my hand against them, and have made the land a desolation, even a desolation from the wilderness to Dibleth, in all their dwellings, and they have known that I am Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 7 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, And thou, son of man, thus said the Lord Jehovah to the ground of Israel. An end, come hath the end on the four corners of the land. Now, is, the end unto thee, and I have sent mine anger upon thee, and judged thee according to thy ways, and set against thee all thine abominations. And no pity on thee hath mine eye, nor do I spare, for thy ways against thee I do set, and thine abominations are in thy midst, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Evil, a single evil, lo, it hath come. An end hath come, come hath the end, it hath waked for thee, lo, it hath come. Come hath the morning unto thee, O inhabitant of the land. Come hath the time, near, is, a day of trouble, and not the shouting of mountains. Now, shortly I pour out my fury on thee, and have completed mine anger against thee, and judged thee according to thy ways and set against thee all thine abominations. And not pity doth mine eye, nor do I spare, according to thy ways unto thee I give, and thine abominations are in thy midst, and ye have known that I am Jehovah the Smiter. Lo, the day, lo, it hath come, gone forth hath the morning, blossomed hath the rod, flourished the pride. The violence hath risen to a rod of wickedness, there is none of them, nor of their multitude, nor of their noise, nor is there wailing for them. Come hath the time, arrived hath the day, the buyer doth not rejoice, and the seller doth not become a mourner, for wrath is unto all its multitude. For the seller to the sold thing turneth not, and yet among the living is their life, for the vision is unto all its multitude, it doth not turn back, 
and none by his iniquity doth strengthen his life. They have blown with a trumpet to prepare the whole, and none is going to battle, for my wrath is unto all its multitude. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He who is in a field by sword dieth, and he who is in a city, famine and pestilence devour him. And escaped away have their fugitives, and they have been on the mountains as doves of the valleys, all of them make a noising each for his iniquity. All the hands are feeble, and all knees go waters. And they have girded on sackcloth, and covered them hath trembling, and unto all faces is shame, and on all their heads baldness. Their silver into out places they cast, and their gold impurity becometh. Their silver and their gold is not able to deliver them, in a day of the wrath of Jehovah, their soul they do not satisfy, and their bowels they do not fill, for the stumbling block of their iniquity it hath been. As to the beauty of his ornament, for excellency he set it, and the images of their abominations, their detestable things, they made in it, therefore I have given it to them for impurity. And I have given it into the hand of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the land for a spoil, and they have polluted it. And I have turned my face from them, and they have polluted my hidden place, yea, come into it of destroyers, and polluted it. Make the chain, for the land hath been full of bloody judgments, and the city hath been full of violence. And I have brought in the wicked of the nations, and they have possessed their houses, and I have caused to cease the excellency of the strong, and polluted have been those sanctifying them. Destruction hath come, and they have sought peace, and there is none. Mischief on mischief cometh, and report is on report, and they have sought a vision from a prophet, and law doth perish from the priest, and counsel from the elders. The king doth become a mourner, and a prince putteth on desolation and the hands of the people of the land are troubled, from their own way I deal with them, and with their own judgments I judge them, and they have known that I am Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 8 And it cometh to pass, in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth of the month, I am sitting in my house, and elders of Judah are sitting before me, and fall on me there doth a hand of the Lord Jehovah. And I look, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins and downward of fire, and from his loins and upward, as the appearance of brightness, as the color of copper. And he putteth forth a form of a hand, and taketh me by a lock of my head, and lift me up to the spirit between the earth and the heavens, and it bringeth me into Jerusalem in visions of God, unto the opening of the inner gate that is facing the north where, is, the seat of the figure of jealousy that is making jealous. And lo, there the honor of the God of Israel, as the appearance that I saw in the valley. And he saith unto me, Son of man, lift up, I pray thee, thine eyes the way of the north. And I lift up mine eyes the way of the north, and lo, on the north of the gate of the altar this figure of jealousy, at the entrance. And he saith unto me, Son of man, art thou seeing what they are doing? The great abominations that the house of Israel are doing here, to keep far off from my sanctuary, and again thou dost turn, thou dost see great abominations. And he bringeth me in unto an opening of the court, and I look, and lo, a hole in the wall. And he saith unto me, Son of man, dig, I pray thee, through the wall and I dig through the wall, and lo, an opening. And he saith to me, Go in, and see the evil abominations that they are doing here. And I go in, and look, and lo, every form of creeping thing, and detestable beast and all the idols of the house of Israel graved on the wall, all round about. And seventy men of the elders of the house of Israel and Jazaniah son of Shaphan standing in their midst, are standing before them, and each is censer in his hand, and the abundance of the cloud of perfume is going up. And he saith unto me, 
Hast thou seen, son of man, that which elders of the house of Israel are doing in darkness, each in the inner chambers of his imagery, for they are saying, Jehovah is not seeing us, Jehovah hath forsaken the land? And he saith unto me, Again thou dost turn, thou dost see great abominations that they are doing. And he bringeth me in unto the opening of the gate of the house of Jehovah that, is, at the north, and lo, there the women are sitting weeping for Talmuz. And he saith unto me, Hast thou seen, son of man? Again thou dost turn, thou dost see greater abominations than these. And he bringeth me in unto the inner court of the house of Jehovah, and lo, at the opening of the temple of Jehovah, between the porch and the altar, about twenty-five men, their backs toward the temple of Jehovah, and their faces eastward, and they are bowing themselves eastward to the sun. And he saith unto me, Hast thou seen, son of man? Hath it been a light thing to the house of Judah to do the abomination that they have done here, that they have filled the land with violence, and turn back to provoke me to anger? And lo, they are putting forth the branch unto their nose. And I also deal in fury, mine I doth not pity, nor do I spare, and they have cried in mine ears a loud voice and I do not hear them. Ezekiel chapter 9 And he creeth in mine ears a loud voice, saying, Draw near have inspectors of the city, and each his destroying weapon in his hand. And lo! Six men are coming from the way of the upper gate, that is facing the north, and each is slaughter weapon in his hand, and one man in their midst is clothed with linen, and a scribe's inkhorn at his loins, and they come in, and stand near the brazen altar. And the honor of the God of Israel hath gone up from off the cherub, on which it hath been, unto the threshold of the house. And he calleth unto the man who is clothed with linen, who hath the scribe's inkhorn at his loins, and Jehovah saith unto him, Pass on into the midst of the city, into the midst of Jerusalem, and thou hast made a mark on the foreheads of the men who are sighing and who are groaning for all the abominations that are done in its midst. And to the others he said in mine ears, Pass on into the city after him, and smite, your eye doth not pity, nor do ye spare. Aged, young man, and virgin, and infant, and women, ye do slay, to destruction, and against any man on whom, is, the mark ye do not go nigh, and from my sanctuary ye begin. And they begin among the aged men who, are, before the house, and he saith unto them, defile the house, and fill the courts with the wounded, go forth. And they have gone forth and have smitten in the city. And it cometh to pass, as they are smiting, and I, I am left, that I fall on my face, and cry, and say, Ah, Lord Jehovah, art thou destroying all the remnant of Israel, in thy pouring out thy wrath on Jerusalem? And he saith unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah, is, very very great, and the land is full of blood, and the city hath been full of perverseness, for they have said, Jehovah hath forsaken the land, and Jehovah is not seeing. And I also, mine eye doth not pity, nor do I spare, their way on their own head I have put. And lo, the man clothed with linen, at whose loins, is, the inkhorn, is bringing back word, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. Ezekiel chapter 10 And I look, and lo, on the expanse that, is, above the head of the cherubs, as a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne, he hath been seen over them. And he speaketh unto the man clothed with linen, and saith, Go in unto the midst of the wheel, unto the place of the cherub, and fill thy hands with coals of fire from between the cherubs, and scatter over the city. And he goeth in before mine eyes. And the cherubs are standing on the right side of the house, at the going in of the man, and the cloud hath filled the inner court. And become high doth the honor of Jehovah above the cherub, over the threshold of the house, and the house is filled with the cloud, 
and the court hath been filled with the brightness of the honor of Jehovah. And the noise of the wings of the cherubs hath been heard unto the outer court, as the voice of God, the Mighty One, in his speaking. And it cometh to pass, in his commanding the man clothed with linen, saying, Take fire from between the wheel, from between the cherubs, and he goeth in and standeth near the wheel. That the, one, cherub putteth forth his hand from between the cherubs unto the fire that, is, between the cherubs, and lifteth up, and giveth into the hands of him who is clothed with linen, and he receiveth, and cometh forth. And there appeareth in the cherubs the form of a hand of man under their wings. And I look, and lo, four wheels are near the cherubs, one will near the one cherub, and another will near the other cherub, and the appearance of the wheels, is, as the color of a barrel stone. As to their appearances, one likeness, is, to them four, as it were the wheel in the midst of the wheel. In their going, on their four sides they go, they turn not round in their going, for to the place whither the head turneth, after it they go, they turn not round in their going. And all their flesh, and their backs, and their hands, and their wings, and the wheels, are full of eyes round about, to them four, are, their wheels. To the wheels, to them is one calling in mine ears, O wheel. And four faces, are, to each, the face of the one, is, the face of the cherub, and the face of the second the face of man, and of the third the face of a lion, and of the fourth the face of an eagle. And the cherubs are lifted up, it, is, the living creature that I saw by the river Chebar. And in the going of the cherubs, the wheels go beside them, and in the cherubs lifting up their wings to be high above the earth, the wheels turn not round, even they, from being beside them. In their standing they stand, and in their exaltation they are exalted with them, for the living spirit, is, in them. And go forth doth the honor of Jehovah from off the threshold of the house, and standeth over the cherubs. And the cherubs lift up their wings, and are lifted up from the earth before mine eyes, in their going forth, the wheels also, are, over against them, and he standeth at the opening of the east gate of the house of Jehovah, and the honor of the God of Israel, is, over them from above. It, is, the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river Chebar, and I know that they are cherubs. Four faces, are, to each, and four wings to each, and the likeness of the hands of man, is, under their wings. As to the likeness of their faces, they, are, the faces that I saw by the river Chebar, their appearances, and themselves, each straight forward they go. Ezekiel chapter 11 And lift me up doth a spirit, and it bringeth me in unto the east gate of the house of Jehovah, that is facing the east, and lo, at the opening of the gate twenty and five men, and I see in their midst Jazaniah son of Azar, and Pelatiah son of Benaiah, heads of the people. And he saith unto me, Son of man, these, are, the men who are devising iniquity, and who are giving evil counsel in this city. Who are saying, It, is, not near, to build houses, it, is, the pot, and we the flesh. Therefore prophesy concerning them, prophesy, son of man. And fall upon me doth the Spirit of Jehovah, and he saith unto me, Say, Thus said Jehovah, Rightly ye have said, O house of Israel, and the steps of your spirit I have known. Ye multiplied your wounded in this city, and filled its outplaces with the wounded. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, your wounded whom ye placed in its midst, they, are, the flesh, and it, is, the pot, and you he hath brought out from its midst. A sword ye have feared, and a sword I bring in against you, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And I have brought you out of its midst, and given you into the hand of strangers, and I have done among you judgments. By the sword ye do fall, 
on the border of Israel I do judge you, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. It is not to you for a pot, nor are ye in its midst for flesh, at the border of Israel I do judge you. And ye have known that I am Jehovah, for in my statutes ye have not walked, and my judgments ye have not done, and according to the judgments of the nations who are round about you, ye have done. And it cometh to pass, at my prophesying, that Pelatiah son of Benaiah is dying, and I fall on my face, and cry, a loud voice, and say, Ah, Lord Jehovah, an end thou art making of the remnant of Israel. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, thy brethren, thy brethren, men of thy kindred, and all the house of Israel, all of it, are, they to whom inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, Keep far off from Jehovah. It is ours, the land hath been given for an inheritance. Therefore say, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because I put them afar off among nations, and because I scattered them through lands, I also am to them for a little sanctuary, in lands whither they have gone in. Therefore say, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, and I have assembled you from the peoples, and I have gathered you from the lands, into which ye have been scattered, and I have given to you the ground of Israel. And they have gone in thither, and turned aside all its detestable things, and all its abominations out of it. And I have given to them one heart, and a new spirit I do give in your midst, and I have turned the heart of stone out of their flesh, and I have given to them a heart of flesh. So that in my statutes they walk, and my judgments they keep, and have done them, and they have been to me for a people, and I am to them for God. As to those whose heart is going unto the heart of their detestable and their abominable things, their way on their head I have put, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And the cherubs lift up their wings, and the wheels, are, over against them, and the honor of the God of Israel, is, over them above. And the honor of Jehovah goeth up from off the midst of the city, and standeth on the mountain, that, is, on the east of the city. And a spirit hath lifted me up, and bringeth me into Chaldea, unto the removed, in a vision, by the Spirit of God, and go up from off me doth the vision that I have seen. And I speak unto the removed all the matters of Jehovah that he hath shewed me. Ezekiel chapter 12 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, in the midst of the rebellious house thou art dwelling, that have eyes to see, and they have not seen, ears they have to hear, and they have not heard, for a rebellious house, are, they. And thou, son of man, make to thee vessels of removal, and remove by day before their eyes, and thou hast removed from thy place unto another place before their eyes, it may be they consider, for a rebellious house they, are. And thou hast brought forth thy vessels as vessels of removal by day before their eyes, and thou, thou dost go forth at even before their eyes, as the goings forth of a removal. Before their eyes dig for thee through the wall, and thou hast brought forth by it. Before their eyes on the shoulder thou dost bear, in the darkness thou dost bring forth, thy face thou dost cover, and thou dost not see the earth for a type I have given thee to the house of Israel. And I do so, as I have been commanded, my vessels I have brought forth as vessels of removal by day, and it even I have dug for me through the wall with the hand, in the darkness I have brought forth, on the shoulder I have borne away, before their eyes. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, in the morning, saying, Son of man, have they not said unto thee, The house of Israel, the rebellious house, what art thou doing? Say unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, The prince, is, this burden in Jerusalem, and all the house of Israel who are in their midst. Say, I, am, your type, as I have done so it is done to them, into a removal, into a captivity, they do go. As to the prince who, is, 
in their midst, on the shoulder he beareth in the darkness, and he goeth forth, through the wall they dig to bring forth by it, his face he covereth, that he may not look on the very surface of the land. And I have spread my net for him, and he hath been caught in my snare, and I have brought him into Babylon, the land of the Chaldeans, and it he doth not see, and there doth he die. And all who are round about him to help him, and all his bands, I do scatter to every wind, and a sword I draw out after them. And they have known that I am Jehovah, in my scattering them among nations, and I have spread them through lands. And I have left of them a few in number, from the sword, from the famine, and from the pestilence, so that they recount all their abominations among the nations whither they have come, and they have known that I am Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, thy bread in haste thou dost eat, and thy water with trembling and with fear thou dost drink. And thou hast said unto the people of the land, Thus said the Lord Jehovah concerning the inhabitants of Jerusalem, concerning the land of Israel, Their bread with fear they do eat, and their water with astonishment drink, because its land is desolate, because of its fullness, because of the violence of all who are dwelling in it. And the cities that are inhabited are laid waste, and the land is a desolation, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, what is this simile to you concerning the land of Israel, saying, Prolonged are the days, and perished hath every vision. Therefore say unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, I have caused this simile to cease, and they use it not as a simile again in Israel, but speak to them, Drawn near have the days, and spoken hath every vision. For there is no more any vain vision, and flattering divination, in the midst of the house of Israel. For I am Jehovah, I speak, the word that I speak, it is done, it is not prolonged any more, for, in your days, O rebellious house, I speak a word, and I have done it, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, lo, the house of Israel are saying, the vision that he is seeing, is, for many days, and of times far off he is prophesying. Therefore say unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, None of my words are prolonged any more, when I speak a word, it is done, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 13 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy concerning the prophets of Israel who are prophesying, and thou hast said to those prophesying from their own heart, Hear ye a word of Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Woe well unto the prophets who are foolish, who are going after their own spirit, and they have seen nothing. As foxes in the wastes, thy prophets, O Israel, have been. Ye have not gone up into breaches, nor do ye make a fence for the house of Israel, to stand in battle in a day of Jehovah. They have seen vanity, and lying divination, who are saying, an affirmation of Jehovah, and Jehovah hath not sent them, and they have hoped to establish a word. A vain vision have ye not seen, and a lying divination spoken, when ye say, an affirmation of Jehovah, and I have not spoken? Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because ye have spoken vanity, and seen a lie, therefore, lo, I, am, against you, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And my hand hath been on the prophets, who are seeing vanity, and who are divining a lie, in the assembly of my people they are not, and in the writing of the house of Israel they are not written, and unto the ground of Israel they come not, and ye have known that I, am, the Lord Jehovah. Because, even because, they did cause my people to err, saying, Peace. And there is no peace, and that one is building a wall, and lo, they are dobing it with chalk. Say to those dobing with chalk, It falleth, 
there hath been an overflowing shower, and ye, O hailstones, do fall, and a tempestuous wind doth rend. And lo, fallen hath the wall. Doth not one say unto you, Where is the dobing that ye daubed? Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, I have rent with a tempestuous wind in my fury, and an overflowing shower is in mine anger, and hailstones in my fury, to consume. And I have broken down the wall that ye daubed with chalk, and have caused it to come unto the earth, and revealed hath been its foundation, and it hath fallen, and ye have been consumed in its midst, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. And I have completed my wrath on the wall and on those dobing it with chalk, and I say to you, the wall is not, and those dobing it are not. The prophets of Israel who are prophesying concerning Jerusalem, and who are seeing for her a vision of peace, and there is no peace, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And thou, son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, who are prophesying out of their own heart, and prophesy concerning them. And thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, What to those sewing pillows for all joints of the arm, and to those making the kerchiefs for the head of every stature, to hunt souls, the souls do ye hunt of my people? And the souls ye have do ye keep alive? Yea, ye pierce me concerning my people, for handfuls of barley, and for pieces of bread, to put to death souls that should not die, and to keep alive souls that should not live by your lying to my people, hearkening to lies. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against your pillows, with which ye are hunting there the souls of the flourishing, and I have rent them from off your arms, and have sent away the souls that ye are hunting, the souls of the flourishing. And I have torn your kerchiefs, and delivered my people out of your hand, and they are no more in your hand for a prey, and ye have known that I, am, Jehovah. Because of paining the heart of the righteous with falsehood, and I have not pained it, and strengthening the hands of the wicked, so as not to turn back from his evil way, to keep him alive. Therefore, vanity ye do not see, and divination ye do not divine again, and I have delivered my people out of your hand, and ye have known that I, am, Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 14 and come in unto me do certain of the elders of Israel, and sit before me. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have caused their idols to go up on their heart, and the stumbling block of their iniquity they have put over against their faces, am I inquired of at all by them? Therefore, speak with them, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, every one of the house of Israel who causeth his idols to go up unto his heart, and the stumbling block of his iniquity setteth over against his face, and hath gone in unto the prophet, I Jehovah have given an answer to him for this, for the abundance of his idols. In order to catch the house of Israel by their heart, in that they have become estranged from off me by their idols, all of them. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Turn ye back, yea, turn ye back from your idols, and from all your abominations turn back your faces. For every one of the house of Israel, and of the sojourners who doth sojourn in Israel, who is separated from after me, and doth cause his idols to go up unto his heart, and the stumbling block of his iniquity setteth over against his face, and hath come in unto the prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, Jehovah, have answered him for myself. And I have set my face against that man, and made him for a sign, and for similes, and I have cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. And the prophet, when he is enticed, and hath spoken a word, Jehovah, I have enticed that prophet, and have stretched out my hand against him, and have destroyed him from the midst of my people Israel. And they have borne their iniquity as the iniquity of the inquirer, so is the iniquity of the prophet. So that the house of Israel do not wander any more from after me, nor are defiled any more with all their transgressions, 
and they have been to me for a people, and I am to them for God, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, the land when it sinneth against me to commit a trespass, and I have stretched out my hand against it, and broken for it the staff of bread, and sent into it famine, and cut off from it man and beast. And these three men have been in its midst, Noah, Daniel, and Job, they by their righteousness deliver their own soul an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. If an evil beast I cause to pass through the land, and it hath bereaved, and it hath been a desolation, without any passing through because of the beast. These three men in its midst, I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, neither sons nor daughters do they deliver, they alone are delivered, and the land is a desolation. Or, a sword I bring in against that land, and I have said, Sword, thou dost pass over through the land, and I have cut off from it man and beast. And these three men in its midst, I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, they deliver not sons and daughters, for they alone are delivered. Or, pestilence I send unto that land, and I have poured out my fury against it in blood, to cut off from it man and beast. And Noah, Daniel, and Job, in its midst, I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, neither son nor daughter do they deliver, they, by their righteousness, deliver their own soul. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, although my four sword judgments, sword, and famine, and wild beast, and pestilence, I have sent unto Jerusalem, to cut off from it man and beast. Yet, lo, there hath been left in it an escape, who are brought forth, sons and daughters, lo, they are coming forth unto you, and ye have seen their way, and their doings, and have been comforted concerning the evil that I have brought in against Jerusalem, all that which I have brought in against it. And they have comforted you, for ye see their way and their doings, and ye have known that not for naught have I done all that which I have done in her, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 15 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree? The vine branch that hath been, among trees of the forest? Is wood taken from it to use for work? Do they take of it a pin to hang any vessel on it? Lo, to the fire it hath been given for fuel, its two ends hath the fire eaten, and its midst hath been scorched. Is it profitable for work? Lo, in its being perfect it is not used for work, how much less, when fire hath eaten of it, and it is scorched, hath it been used yet for work? Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, as the vine tree among trees of the forest, that I have given to the fire for fuel, so I have given the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I have set my face against them, from the fire they have gone forth, and the fire doth consume them, and ye have known that I, am, Jehovah, in my setting my face against them. And I have made the land a desolation, because they have committed a trespass, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 16 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, and thou hast said. Thus said the Lord Jehovah to Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity, are, of the land of the Canaanite, thy father the Amorite, and thy mother a Hittite. As to thy nativity, in the day thou wast born, thou, thy navel hath not been cut, and in water thou wast not washed for ease, and thou hast not been salted at all, and thou hast not been swaddled at all. No I hath had pity on thee, to do to thee any of these, to have compassion on thee, and thou art cast on the face of the field, with loathing of thy person. In the day thou hast been born, thou. And I do pass over by thee, and I see thee trodden down in thy blood, and I say to thee in thy blood, live, and I say to thee in thy blood, live. A myriad, as the shoot of the field I have made thee, 
and thou art multiplied, and art great, and comest in with an excellent adornment, breasts have been formed, and thy hair hath grown, and thou, naked and bare. And I pass over by thee, and I see thee, and lo, thy time, is, a time of loves, and I spread my skirt over thee, and I cover thy nakedness, and I swear to thee, and come into a covenant with thee, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, and thou dost become mine. And I do wash thee with water, and I wash away thy blood from off thee, and I anoint thee with perfume. And I clothe thee with embroidery, and I shew thee with badger's skin, and I gird thee with fine linen, and I cover thee with figured silk. And I adorn thee with adornments, and I give bracelets for thy hands, and a chain for thy neck. And I give a ring for thy nose, and rings for thine ears, and a crown of beauty on thy head. And thou dost put on gold and silver, and thy clothing, is, fine linen, and figured silk and embroidery, fine flour, and honey, and oil thou hast eaten, and thou art very very beautiful, and dost go prosperously to the kingdom. And go forth doth thy name among nations, because of thy beauty, for it, is, complete, in my honor that I have set upon thee, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And thou dost trust in thy beauty, and goest a whoring because of thy renown, and dost pour out thy whoredoms on every passerby, to him it is. And thou dost take of thy garments, and dost make to thee spotted high places, and dost go a whoring upon them, they are not coming in, nor shall it be. And thou dost take thy beauteous vessels of my gold and my silver that I gave to thee, and dost make to the images of a male, and dost go a whoring with them. And dost take the garments of thy embroidery, and thou dost cover them, and my oil and my perfume thou hast set before them. And my bread, that I gave to thee, fine flour, and oil, and honey, that I caused thee to eat. Thou hast even set it before them, for a sweet fragrance, thus it is, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And thou dost take thy sons and thy daughters whom thou hast borne to me, and dost sacrifice them to them for food. Is it a little thing because of thy whoredoms? That thou dost slaughter my sons, and dost give them up in causing them to pass over to them? And with all thine abominations and thy whoredoms, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, when thou wast naked and bare, trodden down in thy blood thou wast. And it cometh to pass, after all thy wickedness, wa, wa, to thee an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. That thou dost build to thee an arch, and dost make to thee a high place in every broad place. At every head of the way thou hast built thy high place, and thou dost make thy beauty abominable, and dost open wide thy feet to every passerby, and dost multiply thy whoredoms. And dost go a whoring unto sons of Egypt, thy neighbors great of appetite. And thou dost multiply thy whoredoms, to provoke me to anger. And lo, I have stretched out my hand against thee, and I diminish thy portion, and give thee to the desire of those hating thee, the daughters of the Philistines, who are ashamed of thy wicked way. And thou goest a whoring unto sons of Ashur, without thy being satisfied, and thou dost go a whoring with them, and also, thou hast not been satisfied. And thou dost multiply thy whoredoms on the land of Canaan, toward Chaldea, and even with this thou hast not been satisfied. How weak is thy heart an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, in thy doing all these, the work of a domineering whorish woman. In thy building thine arch at the head of every way, thy high place thou hast made in every broad place, and hast not been as a whore deriding a gift. The wife who committeth adultery under her husband doth receive strangers. To all whores they give a gift, and thou hast given thy gifts to all thy lovers, and dost bribe them to come in unto thee, from round about, in thy whoredoms. And the contrary is in thee from women in thy whoredoms, that after thee none doth go a whoring, and in thy giving a gift, 
and a gift hath not been given to thee, and thou art become contrary. Therefore, O whore, hear a word of Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of thy brass being poured forth, and thy nakedness is revealed in thy whoredoms near thy lovers, and near all the idols of thy abominations, and according to the blood of thy sons, whom thou hast given to them. Therefore, lo, I am assembling all thy lovers, to whom thou hast been sweet, and all whom thou hast loved, besides all whom thou hast hated, and I have assembled them by thee round about, and have revealed thy nakedness to them, and they have seen all thy nakedness. And I have judged thee judgments of adulteresses, and of women shedding blood, and have given thee blood, fury, and jealousy. And I have given thee into their hand, and they have thrown down thine arch, and they have broken down thy high places, and they have stripped thee of thy garments, and they have taken thy beauteous vessels, and they have left thee naked and bare. And have caused an assembly to come up against thee, and stone thee with stones, and thrust thee through with their swords. And burnt thy houses with fire, and done in thee judgments before the eyes of many women, and I have caused thee to cease from going a whoring, and also a gift thou givest no more. And I have caused my fury against thee to rest, and my jealousy hath turned aside from thee, and I have been quiet, and I am not angry any more. Because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, and dost give trouble to me in all these, lo, even I also thy way at first gave up, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, and I did not this thought for all thine abominations. Lo, every one using a simile, doth use a simile concerning thee, saying, as the mother, her daughter. Thy mother's daughter thou, art, loathing her husband and her sons, and thy sister's sister thou, art, who loathed their husbands and their sons, your mother, is, a Hittite, and your father an Amorite. And thine elder sister, is, Samaria, she and her daughters, who is dwelling at thy left hand, and thy younger sister, who is dwelling on thy right hand, is, Sodom and her daughters. And, in their ways thou hast not walked, and according to their abominations done, as a little thing it hath been loathed and thou dost more corruptly than they in all thy ways. I live an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, Sodom thy sister hath not done, she and her daughters, as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Lo, this hath been the iniquity of Sodom thy sister, arrogancy, fullness of bread, and quiet ease, have been to her and to her daughters, and the hand of the afflicted and needy she hath not strengthened. And they are haughty and do abomination before me, and I turn them aside when I have seen. As to Samaria, as the half of thy sins, she hath not sinned, and thou dost multiply thine abominations more than they, and dost justify thy sisters by all thy abominations that thou hast done. Thou also bear thy shame, that thou hast a judge to thy sisters, because of thy sins that thou hast done more abominably than they, they are more righteous than thou, and thou, also, be ashamed and bear thy shame, in thy justifying thy sisters. And I have turned back, to, their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, and the captivity of thy captives in their midst. So that thou dost bear thy shame, and hast been ashamed of all that thou hast done, in thy comforting them. And thy sisters, Sodom and her daughters, do turn back to their former state, and Samaria and her daughters do turn back to their former state, and thou and thy daughters do turn back to your former state. And thy sister Sodom hath not been for a report in thy mouth, in the day of thine arrogancy. Before thy wickedness is revealed, as, at, the time of the reproach of the daughters of Aram, and of all her neighbors, the daughters of the Philistines, who are despising thee round about. Thy devices and thine abominations, thou hast borne them, an affirmation of Jehovah. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, I have dealt with thee as thou hast done, in that thou hast despised an oath, to break covenant. 
And I, I have remembered my covenant with thee, in the days of thy youth, and I have established for thee a covenant age during. And thou hast remembered thy ways, and thou hast been ashamed, in thy receiving thy sisters, thine elder with thy younger, and I have given them to thee for daughters, and not by thy covenant. And I, I have established my covenant with thee, and thou hast known that I, am, Jehovah. So that thou dost remember, and thou hast been ashamed, and there is not to thee any more an opening of the mouth because of thy shame, in my receiving atonement for thee, for all that thou hast done, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 17 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, put forth a riddle, and use a simile unto the house of Israel. And thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, the great eagle, great-winged, long-pinioned, full of feathers, that hath diverse colors, hath come in unto Lebanon, and it taketh the foliage of the cedar. The top of its tender twigs it hath cropped, and it bringeth it into the land of Canaan. In a city of merchants it hath placed it. And it taketh of the seed of the land, and doth put it in a field of seed, to take by many waters, in a conspicuous place it hath set it. And it springeth up, and becometh a spreading vine, humble of stature, to turn its thin shoots toward itself, and its roots are under it, and it becometh a vine, and mocketh boughs, and sendeth forth beauteous branches. And there is another great eagle, great-winged, and abounding with feathers, and lo, this vine hath bent its roots toward him, and its thin shoots it hath sent out toward him, to water it from the furrows of its planting. On a good field, by many waters, it is planted, to make branches, and to bear fruit, to be for an goodly vine. Say, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, It prospereth, its roots doth he not draw out, and its fruit cut off, and it is withered? In, all the leaves of its springing it withereth, and not by great strength, and by a numerous people, to lift it up by its roots. And lo, the planted thing doth it prosper? When come against it doth the east wind, doth it not utterly wither? On the furrows of its springing it withereth. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Say, I pray thee, to the rebellious house, have ye not known what these, are? Say, Lo, come hath the king of Babylon to Jerusalem, and he taketh its king, and its princes, and bringeth them to himself to Babylon. And he taketh of the seed of the kingdom, and mocketh with him a covenant, and bringeth him into an oath, and the mighty of the land he hath taken. That the kingdom may be humble, that it may not lift itself up, to keep his covenant that it may stand. And he rebelleth against him, to send his messengers to Egypt, to give to him horses, and much people, doth he prosper? Doth he escape who is doing these things? And hath he broken covenant and escaped? I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, doth he not, in the place of the king who is causing him to reign, whose oath he hath despised, and whose covenant he hath broken, with him, in the midst of Babylon, die? And not with a great force, and with a numerous assembly, doth Pharaoh maintain him in battle, by pouring out a mount, and in building a fortification, to cut off many souls. And he despised the oath to break covenant, and lo, he hath given his hand, and all these he hath done, he escapeth not. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, I live mine oath that he hath despised, and my covenant that he hath broken, have I not put it on his head? And I have spread out for him my snare, and he hath been caught in my net, and I have brought him into Babylon, and pleaded with him there his trespass that he hath trespassed against me. And all his fugitives, with all his bands, by sword do fall, and those remaining, to every wind they are spread out, and ye have known that I, Jehovah, have spoken. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, I have taken of the foliage of the high cedar, and I have set, it, 
from the top of its tender shoots a tender one I crop, and I, I have planted, it, on a mountain high and lofty. In a mountain, the high place of Israel, I plant it, and it hath borne boughs, and yielded fruit, and become a goodly cedar, and dwelt under it have all birds of every wing, in the shade of its thin shoots they dwell. And known have all trees of the field that I, Jehovah, have made low the high tree, I have set on high the low tree, I have dried up the moist tree, and I have caused the dry tree to flourish, Jehovah, have spoken, and have done, it. Ezekiel chapter 18 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, What to you, ye, using this simile concerning the ground of Israel, saying, Fathers do eat unripe fruit, and the son's teeth are blunted? I live an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, ye have no more the use of this simile in Israel. Lo, all the souls are mine, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son, they are mine, the soul that is sinning, it doth die. And a man, when he is righteous, and hath done judgment and righteousness. On the mountains he hath not eaten, and his eyes he hath not lifted up unto idols of the house of Israel, and the wife of his neighbor defiled not, and to a separated woman cometh not near. A man, he doth not oppress, his pledge to the debtor he doth return, plunder he doth not take away, his bread to the hungry he doth give, and the naked doth cover with a garment. In usury he doth not give, and increase taketh not, from perversity he turneth back his hand, true judgment he doth between man and man. In my statutes he doth walk, and my judgments he hath kept, to deal truly, righteous, is, he, he surely liveth, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And, he hath begotten a son, a burglar, a shedder of blood, and he hath made a brother of one of these. And he all those hath not done, for even on the mountains he hath eaten, and the wife of his neighbor he hath defiled. The afflicted and needy he hath oppressed, plunder he hath taken violently away, a pledge he doth not return, and unto the idols he hath lifted up his eyes, abomination he hath done. In usury he hath given, and increase taken, and he liveth, he doth not live, all these abominations he hath done, he doth surely die, his blood is on him. And, lo, he hath begotten a son, and he seeth all the sins of his father, that he hath done, and he feareth, and doth not do like them. On the mountains he hath not eaten, and his eyes he hath not lifted up unto idols of the house of Israel, the wife of his neighbor he hath not defiled. A man he hath not oppressed, a pledge he hath not bound, and plunder he hath not taken away, his bread to the hungry he hath given, and the naked he covered with a garment. From the afflicted he hath turned back his hand, usury and increase he hath not taken, my judgments he hath done, in my statutes he hath walked, he doth not die for the iniquity of his father, he doth surely live. His father, because he used oppression, did violently plunder a brother, and that which, is, not good did in the midst of his people, and lo, he is dying in his iniquity. And ye have said, Wherefore hath not the son, born of the iniquity of the father? And the son judgment and righteousness hath done, all my statutes he hath kept, and he doeth them, he surely liveth. The soul that doth sin, it doth die. A son doth not bear of the iniquity of the father, and a father doth not bear of the iniquity of the son, the righteousness of the righteous is on him, and the wickedness of the wicked is on him. And the wicked, when he turneth back from all his sins that he hath done, and he hath kept all my statutes, and hath done judgment and righteousness, he doth surely live, he doth not die. All his transgressions that he hath done are not remembered to him, in his righteousness that he hath done he liveth. Do I at all desire the death of the wicked? An affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, is it not in his turning back from his way, and he hath lived?
and in the turning back of the righteous from his righteousness, and he hath done perversity, according to all the abominations that the wicked hath done, he doth, thus he liveth, all his righteousnesses that he hath done are not remembered, for his trespass that he hath trespassed, and for his sin that he hath sinned, for them he doth die. And ye have said, Not pondered is the way of the Lord. Here, I pray you, O house of Israel, my way, is it not pondered? Are not your ways unpondered? In the turning back of the righteous from his righteousness, and he hath done perversity, and he is dying by them, for his perversity that he hath done he dieth. And in the turning back of the wicked from his wickedness that he hath done, and he doth judgment and righteousness, he his soul doth keep alive. And he seeth and turneth back, from all his transgressions that he hath done, he doth surely live, he doth not die. And the house of Israel have said, Not pondered is the way of the Lord, my ways, are they not pondered? O house of Israel, are not your ways unpondered? Therefore, each according to his ways I judge you, O house of Israel. An affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, Turn ye back, yea, turn yourselves back, from all your transgressions, and iniquity is not to you for a stumbling block. Cast from off you all your transgressions, by which ye have transgressed, and make to you a new heart, and a new spirit, and why do ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of the dying, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, and turn ye back and live. Ezekiel chapter 19 And thou, lift up a lamentation unto princes of Israel. And thou hast said, What, is, thy mother? A lioness, among lions she hath crouched down, in the midst of young lions she hath multiplied her well song. And she bringeth up one of her whelps, a young lion it hath been, and it learneth to tear prey, man it hath devoured. And here of it do nations, in their pit it hath been caught, and they bring it in with chains unto the land of Egypt. And she seeth, that stayed, perished hath her hope, and she taketh one of her whelps, a young lion she hath made it. And it goeth up and down in the midst of lions, a young lion it hath been, and it learneth to tear prey, man it hath devoured. And it knoweth his forsaken habitations, and their cities it hath laid waste, and desolate is the land and its fullness, because of the voice of his roaring. And set against it do nations round about from the provinces. And they spread out for it their net, in their pit it hath been caught. And they put it in prison, in chains, and they bring it unto the king of Babylon, they bring it in unto bulwarks, so that its voice is not heard any more on mountains of Israel. Thy mother, is, as a vine in thy blood by waters planted, fruitful and full of boughs it hath been, because of many waters. And it hath strong rods for scepters of rulers, and high is its stature above thick branches, and it appeareth in its height in the multitude of its thin shoots. And it is plucked up in fury, to the earth it hath been cast, and the east wind hath dried up its fruit, broken and withered hath been the rod of its strength, fire hath consumed it. And now, it is planted in a wilderness, in a land dry and thirsty. And go forth doth fire from a rod of its boughs, its fruit it hath devoured, and it hath no rod of strength, a scepter to rule, lamentation it, is, and it is for a lamentation. Ezekiel chapter 20 And it cometh to pass, in the seventh year, in the fifth, month, in the tenth of the month, come and have certain of the elders of Israel to seek Jehovah, and they sit before me. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, speak with the elders of Israel, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, To seek me are ye coming in? I live, I am not sought by you, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Dost thou judge them? Dost thou judge, son of man? 
the abominations of their fathers caused them to know. And thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, In the day of my fixing on Israel, I lift up my hand, to the seed of the house of Jacob, and am known to them in the land of Egypt, and I lift up my hand to them, saying, I am Jehovah your God. In that day I did lift up my hand to them, to bring them forth from the land of Egypt, unto a land that I spied out for them, flowing with milk and honey, a beauty it is to all the lands. And I say unto them, Let each cast away the detestable things of his eyes, and with the idols of Egypt be not defiled, I am Jehovah your God. And they rebel against me, and have not been willing to hearken to me, each, the detestable things of their eyes, they have not cast away, and the idols of Egypt have not forsaken, and I say, to pour out my fury on them, to complete mine anger against them, in the midst of the land of Egypt. And I do, it, for my name's sake, not to pollute, it, before the eyes of the nations, in whose midst they, are, before whose eyes I became known to them, to bring them out from the land of Egypt. And I bring them out of the land of Egypt, and I bring them in unto the wilderness. And I give to them my statutes, and my judgments I cause them to know, which the man who doth liveth by them. And also my Sabbaths I have given to them, to be for a sign between me and them, to know that I am Jehovah their sanctifier. And rebel against me do the house of Israel in the wilderness, in my statutes they have not walked, and my judgments they have despised, which the man who doth liveth by them. And my Sabbaths they have greatly polluted, and I say to pour out my fury on them in the wilderness, to consume them. And I do it for my name's sake, not to pollute it before the eyes of the nations, before whose eyes I brought them forth. And also, I, I have lifted up my hand to them in the wilderness, not to bring them into the land that I had given, flowing with milk and honey, a beauty it is to all the lands. Because against my judgments they did kick, and in my statutes they have not walked, and my Sabbaths they have polluted, for after their idols their heart is going. And mine I hath pity on them, against destroying them, and I have not made of them an end in the wilderness. And I say to their sons in the wilderness, In the statutes of your fathers ye walk not, and their judgments ye do not observe, and with their idols ye are not defiled. I am Jehovah your God, in my statutes walk, and my judgments observe, and do them. And my Sabbaths sanctify, and they have been for a sign between me and you, to know that I, Jehovah, am, your God. And, the sons rebel against me, in my statutes they have not walked, and my judgments they have not observed, to do them, which the man who doth, liveth by them. My Sabbaths they have polluted, and I say to pour out my fury upon them, to complete mine anger against them in the wilderness. And I have turned back my hand, and I do, it, for my name's sake, not to pollute, it, before the eyes of the nations, before whose eyes I brought them out. I also, I have lifted up my hand to them in the wilderness, to scatter them among nations, and to spread them through lands. Because my judgments they have not done, and my statutes they have despised, and my Sabbaths they have polluted, and after idols of their fathers have their eyes been. And I also, I have given to them statutes not good, and judgments by which they do not live. And I defile them by their own gifts, by causing to pass away every opener of a womb, so that I make them desolate, so that they know that I am Jehovah. Therefore, speak unto the house of Israel, son of man, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Still in this have your fathers reviled me, in their committing against me a trespass. And I bring them in unto the land, that I did lift up my hand to give to them, and they see every high hill, and every thick tree, and they sacrifice there their sacrifices, 
and give there the provocation of their offering, and make there their sweet fragrance, and they pour out there their libations. And I say unto them, What is the high place whither ye are going in? And its name is called high place to this day. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, In the way of your fathers are ye defiled? And after their detestable things go a whoring? And in the offering of your gifts, in causing your sons to pass through fire, ye are defiled by all your idols to this day, and I am sought by you, O house of Israel. I live an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, I am not sought by you. And that which is going up on your mind, it is not at all, in that ye are saying, We will be as the nations, as the families of the lands, to serve wood and stone. I live an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, do not I, with a strong hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out, rule over you? And I have brought you forth from the peoples, and assembled you from the lands in which ye have been scattered, with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out. And I have brought you in unto the wilderness of the peoples, and have been judged with you there face to face. As I was judged with your fathers, in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so I am judged with you, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And I have caused you to pass under the rod, and brought you into the bond of the covenant. And cleared out from you the rebels, and them transgressing against me, from the land of their sojournings I bring them out, and unto the land of Israel they come not, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. And ye, O house of Israel, thus said the Lord Jehovah, each his idols, go, serve ye, and, afterwards, if ye are not hearkening to me, and my holy name ye do not pollute any more by your gifts, and by your idols. For, in my holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, there serve me do all the house of Israel, all of it, in the land, there I accept them, and there I do seek your heave offerings, and with the first fruit of your gifts, with all your holy things. With sweet fragrance I do accept you, in my bringing you out from the peoples, and I have assembled you from the lands in which ye have been scattered, and I have been sanctified in you before the eyes of the nations. And ye have known that I am Jehovah, in my bringing you to the ground of Israel, unto the land that I did lift up my hand to give it to your fathers. And ye have remembered there your ways, and all your doings, in which ye have been defiled, and ye have been loathsome in your own faces, for all your evils that ye have done. And ye have known that I am Jehovah, in my dealing with you for my name's sake, not according to your evil ways, and according to your corrupt doings, O house of Israel, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face the way of Taman, and prophesy unto the south, and prophesy unto the forest of the field, the south. And thou hast said to the forest of the south, Hear a word of Jehovah, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am kindling in thee a fire, and it hath devoured in thee every moist tree, and every dry tree, not quenched is the glowing flames, and burnt by it have been all faces from south to north. And seen have all flesh, that I, Jehovah, have kindled it, it is not quenched. And I say, Ah, Lord Jehovah, they are saying of me, is he not using similes? Ezekiel chapter 21 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face unto Jerusalem, and prophesy unto the holy places, and prophesy unto the ground of Israel. And thou hast said unto the ground of Israel, Thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am against thee, and have brought out my sword from its scabbard, and have cut off from thee righteous and wicked. Because that I have cut off from thee righteous and wicked, therefore go out doth my sword from its scabbard, unto all flesh, from south to north. And known have all flesh that I, 
Jehovah, have brought out my sword from its scabbard, it doth not turn back any more. And thou, son of man, sigh with breaking of loins, yea, with bitterness thou dost sigh before their eyes. And it hath come to pass, when they say unto thee, For what art thou sighing? That thou hast said, Because of the report, for it is coming, and melted hath every heart, and feeble hath been all hands, and weak is every spirit, and all knees go, waters, lo, it is coming, yea, it hath been, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, and thou hast said, Thus said Jehovah, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened, and also polished. So as to slaughter a slaughter it is sharpened. So as to have brightness it is polished, desire hath rejoiced the scepter of my son, it is despising every tree. And he giveth it for polishing, for laying hold of by the hand. It is sharpened, the sword and polished, to give it into the hand of a slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it hath been among my people, it is among all the princes of Israel, cast unto the sword have been my people. Therefore strike on thy thigh. Because, it is, a trier, and what if even the scepter it is despising? It shall not be, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And thou, son of man, prophesy, and smite hand on hand, and bent is the sword a third time, the sword of the wounded. It, is, the sword of the wounded, the great one, that is entering the inner chamber to them. To melt the heart and to multiply the ruins, by all their gates I have set the point of a sword. Ah, it is made for brightness, wrapped up for slaughter. Take possession of the right, place thyself at the left, whither thy face is appointed. And I also, I smite my hand on my hand, and have caused my fury to rest, Jehovah, have spoken. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, And thou, son of man, appoint for thee two ways, for the coming in of the sword of the king of Babylon, from one land they come forth, both of them, and a station prepare thou, at the top of the way of the city prepare, it. A way appoint for the coming of the sword, unto Rabbath of the sons of Ammon, and to Judah, in Jerusalem, the fenced. For stood hath the king of Babylon at the head of the way, at the top of the two ways, to use divination, he hath moved lightly with the arrows, he hath asked at the teraphim, he hath looked on the liver. At his right hath been the divination, Jerusalem, to place battering rams, to open the mouth with slaughter, to lift up a voice with shouting, to place battering rams against the gates, to pour out a mount, to build a fortification. And it hath been to them as a false divination in their eyes, who have sworn oaths to them, and he is causing iniquity to be remembered to be caught. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of your causing your iniquity to be remembered, in your transgressions being revealed, for your sins being seen, in all your doings, because of your being remembered, by the hand ye are caught. And thou, wounded, wicked one, prince of Israel, whose day hath come, in the time of the iniquity of the end. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Turn aside the mitre, and bear away the crown, this, not this, the low make high, and the high make low. An overturn, 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 I make it, also this hath not been till the coming of him, whose, is, the judgment, and I have given it. And thou, son of man, prophesy, and thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah concerning the sons of Ammon, and concerning their reproach, and thou hast said, A sword, a sword, open for slaughter, polished to the utmost for brightness. In the seeing for thee of a vain thing, in the divining for thee of a lie, to put thee on the necks of the wounded of the wicked, whose day hath come, in the time of the iniquity of the end. Turn, it, back unto its scabbard, in the place where thou wast produced, 
in the land of thy birth I do judge thee. And I have poured on thee mine indignation, with fire of my wrath I blow against thee, and have given thee into the hand of brutish men, artificers of destruction. To the fire thou art for fuel, thy blood is in the midst of the land, thou art not remembered, for I, Jehovah, have spoken. Ezekiel chapter 22 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, And thou, son of man, dost thou judge? Dost thou judge the city of blood? Then thou hast caused it to know all its abominations. And thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, The city is shedding blood in its midst, for the coming in of its time, and it hath made idols on it for defilement. By thy blood that thou hast shed thou hast been guilty, and by thine idols that thou hast made thou hast been defiled, and thou causest thy days to draw near, and art come in unto thine years, therefore I have given thee a reproach to nations, and a derision to all the lands. The near and the far off from thee scoff at thee, O defiled of name, abounding in trouble. Lo, princes of Israel each according to his arm have been in thee to shed blood. Father and mother made light of in thee, to a sojourner they dealt oppressively in thy midst, fatherless and widow they oppressed in thee. My holy things thou hast despised, and my sabbaths thou hast polluted. Men of slander have been in thee to shed blood, and on the mountains they have eaten in thee, wickedness they have done in thy midst. The nakedness of a father hath one uncovered in thee, the defiled of impurity they humbled in thee. And each with the wife of his neighbor hath done abomination, and each his daughter-in-law hath defiled through wickedness, and each his sister, his father's daughter, hath humbled in thee. A bribe they have taken in thee to shed blood, usury and increase thou hast taken, and cuttest off thy neighbor by oppression, and me thou hast forgotten, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And lo, I have smitten my hand, because of thy dishonest gain that thou hast gained, and for thy blood that hath been in thy midst. Doth thy heart stand, are thy hands strong, for the days that I am dealing with thee? I, Jehovah, have spoken and have done, it. And I have scattered thee among nations, and have spread thee out among lands, and consumed thy uncleanness out of thee. And thou hast been polluted in thyself before the eyes of nations, and thou hast known that I, am, Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man. The house of Israel hath been to me for dross, all of them, are, the brass, and tin, and iron, and lead, in the midst of a furnace, dross hath silver been. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of your all becoming dross, therefore, lo, I am gathering you unto the midst of Jerusalem. A gathering of silver, and brass, and iron, and lead, and tin, unto the midst of a furnace, to blow on it fire, to melt it, so do I gather in mine anger and in my fury, and I have let rest, and have melted you. And I have heaped you up, and blown on you in the fire of my wrath, and ye have been melted in its midst. As the melting of silver in the midst of a furnace, so are ye melted in its midst, and ye have known that I, Jehovah, I have poured out my fury upon you. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, say to it, Thou, art, a land, it, is, not cleansed nor reigned on in a day of indignation. A conspiracy of its prophets, is, in its midst, as a roaring lion tearing prey, the soul they have devoured, wealth and glory they have taken, its widows have multiplied in its midst. Its priests have wronged my law, and they pollute my holy things. Between holy and common they have not made separation, and between the unclean and the clean they have not made known, and from my sabbaths they have hidden their eyes, and I am pierced in their midst. Its princes in its midst, are, as wolves, tearing prey, to shed blood, to destroy souls, 
for the sake of gaining dishonest gain. And its prophets have daubed for them with chalk, seeing a vain thing, and divining for them a lie, saying, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, and Jehovah hath not spoken. The people of the land have used oppression, and have taken plunder violently away, and humble and needy have oppressed, and the sojourner oppressed, without judgment. And I seek of them a man making offense, and standing in the breach before me, in behalf of the land, not to destroy it, and I have not found. And I pour out on them mine indignation, by fire of my wrath I have consumed them, their way on their own head I have put, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 23 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man. Two women were daughters of one mother. And they go a whoring in Egypt, in their youth they have gone a whoring, there they have bruised their breasts, and there they have dealt with the loves of their virginity. And their names are Ahola the elder, and Ahalaba her sister, and they are mine, and bear sons and daughters. As to their names, Samaria is Ahola, and Jerusalem is Ahalaba. And go a whoring doth Ahola under me, and she doteth on her lovers, on the neighboring Assyrians. Clothed with blue governors and prefects, desirable young men all of them, horsemen, riding on horses. And she giveth her whoredoms on them, the choice of the sons of Ashur, all of them, even all on whom she doted, by all their idols she hath been defiled. And her whoredoms out of Egypt she hath not forsaken, for with her they lay in her youth, and they dealt with the loves of her virginity, and they pour out their whoredoms on her. Therefore I have given her into the hand of her lovers, into the hand of sons of Ashur on whom she doted. They have uncovered her nakedness, her sons and her daughters they have taken, and her by sword they have slain, and she is a name for women, and judgments they have done with her. And see doth her sister Ahalaba, and she mocketh her doting love more corrupt than she, and her whoredoms than the whoredoms of her sister. On sons of Ashur she hath doted, governors and prefects, neighboring ones, clothed in perfection, horsemen, riding on horses, desirable young men all of them. And I see that she hath been defiled, one way, is, to them both. And she doth add unto her whoredoms, and she seeth graved men on the wall, pictures of Chaldeans, graved with red lead. Girded with a girdle on their loins, dyed attire spread out on their heads, the appearance of rulers, all of them, the likeness of sons of Babylon, Chaldea is the land of their birth. And she doteth on them at the sight of her eyes, and sendeth messengers to them, to Chaldea. And come in unto her due sons of Babylon, to the bed of loves, and they defile her with their whoredoms, and she is defiled with them, and her soul is alienated from them. And she revealeth her whoredoms, and she revealeth her nakedness, and alienated is my soul from off her, as alienated was my soul from off her sister. And she multiplieth her whoredoms, to remember the days of her youth, when she went a whoring in the land of Egypt. And she doteth on their paramours, whose flesh, is, the flesh of asses, and the issue of horses, their issue. Thou lookest after the wickedness of thy youth, in dealing out of Egypt thy loves, for the sake of the breasts of thy youth. Therefore, O Ahalaba, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am stirring up thy lovers against thee, from whom thy soul hath been alienated, and have brought them in against thee from round about. Sons of Babylon, and of all Chaldea, Pekod, and Shoah, and Koah, all the sons of Ashur with them, desirable young men, governors and prefects, all of them rulers and proclaimed ones, riding on horses, all of them. And they have come in against thee, with arms, rider, and wheel, and with an assembly of peoples, target, and shield, and helmet, they do set against thee round about, and I have set before them judgment, they have judged thee in their judgments. 
And I have set my jealousy against thee, and they have dealt with thee in fury, thy nose and thine ears they turn aside, and thy posterity by sword falleth, they, thy sons and thy daughters do take away, and thy posterity is devoured by fire. And they have stripped thee of thy garments, and have taken thy beauteous jewels. And I have caused thy wickedness to cease from thee, and thy whoredoms out of the land of Egypt, and thou liftest not up thine eyes unto them, and Egypt thou dost not remember again. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am giving thee into a hand that thou hast hated, into a hand from which thou wast alienated. And they have dealt with thee in hatred, and they have taken all thy labor, and they have left thee naked and bare, and revealed hath been the nakedness of thy whoredoms, and the wickedness of thy whoredoms. To do these things to thee, in thy going a whoring after nations, because thou hast been defiled with their idols. In the way of thy sister thou hast walked, and I have given her cup into thy hand. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, the cup of thy sister thou dost drink, the deep and the wide one, thou art for laughter and for scorn, abundant to contain. With drunkenness and sorrow thou art filled, a cup of astonishment and desolation, the cup of thy sister Samaria. And thou hast drunk it, and hast drained, it, and its earthen where thou dost gnaw, and thine own breasts thou pluckest off, for I have spoken, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because thou hast forgotten me, and thou dost cast me behind thy back, even thou also bear thy wickedness and thy whoredoms. And Jehovah saith unto me, Son of man, dost thou judge Ahola and Ahalaba? Declare then to them their abominations. For they have committed adultery, and blood, is, in their hands, with their idols they committed adultery and also their sons whom they bore to me, they caused to pass over to them for food. Again, this they have done to me, they defiled my sanctuary in that day, and my Sabbaths they have polluted. And in their slaughtering their sons to their idols they also come in unto my sanctuary in that day to pollute it, and lo, thus they have done in the midst of my house. And also that they send to men coming from afar unto whom a messenger is sent, and lo, they have come in for whom thou hast washed, painted thine eyes, and put on adornment. And thou hast sat on a couch of honor, and a table arrayed before it, and my perfume and my oil placed on it. And the voice of a multitude at ease, is, with her, and unto men of the common people are brought in Sabaeans from the wilderness, and they put bracelets on their hands, and a beauteous crown on their heads. And I say of the worn-out one in adulteries, now they commit her whoredoms, she also. And they come in unto her, as the coming in unto a whorish woman, so they have come in unto a hola, and unto a holaba, the wicked women. As to righteous men, they judge them with the judgment of adulteresses, and the judgment of women shedding blood, for they, are, adulteresses, and blood, is, in their hands. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, Bring up against them an assembly, and give them to trembling and to spoiling. And they have cast at them the stone of the assembly, and cut them with their swords, their sons and their daughters they do slay, and their houses with fire they burn. And I have caused wickedness to cease from the land, and instructed have been all the women, and they do not according to your wickedness. And they have put your wickedness on you, and the sins of your idols ye bear, and ye have known that I am the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 24 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, in the ninth year, in the tenth month, in the tenth of the month, saying, Son of man, write for thee the name of the day, this selfsame day leaned hath the king of Babylon toward Jerusalem in this selfsame day. And use unto the rebellious house a simile, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, to set on the pot, to set it on, and also to pour into it water. 
to gather its pieces unto it, every good piece, thigh, and shoulder, the choice of the bones to fill in. The choice of the flock to take, and also to pile of the bones under it, boil it thoroughly, yeah, cook its bones in its midst. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Wa, to, the city of blood, a pot whose scum, is, in it, and its scum hath not come out of it, by piece of it, by piece of it bring it out, not fallen on it hath a lot. For her blood in her midst hath been, on a clear place of a rock she hath set it, she hath not poured it on the earth, to cover it over with dust. To cause fury to come up to take vengeance, I have put her blood on a clear place of a rock, not to be covered. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Wa, to, the city of blood, yeah, I, I make great the pile. Make abundant the wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and make the compound, and let the bones be burnt. And cause it to stand on its coals empty, so that its brass is hot and burning, melted hath been in its midst its uncleanness, consumed is its scum. With sorrow she hath wearied herself, and the abundance of her scum goeth not out of her, in the fire, is, her scum. In thine uncleanness, is, wickedness, because I have cleansed thee, and thou hast not been cleansed, from thine uncleanness thou art not cleansed again, till I have caused my fury to rest on thee. I, Jehovah, hath spoken, it hath come, and I have done, it, I do not free, nor do I spare, nor do I repent, according to thy ways, and according to thine acts, they have judged thee, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, lo, I am taking from thee the desire of thine eyes by a stroke, and thou dost not mourn, nor weep, nor let thy tear come. Cease to groan, for the dead thou dost make no mourning, thy bonnet bind on thee, and thy shoes thou dost put on thy feet, and thou dost not cover over the upper lip, and bread of men thou dost not eat. And I speak unto the people in the morning, and my wife dieth in the evening, and I do in the morning as I have been commanded. And the people say unto me, Dost thou not declare to us what these are, to us, that thou art doing? And I say unto them, A word of Jehovah hath been unto me, saying, Say to the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am polluting my sanctuary, the excellency of your strength, the desire of your eyes, and the pitted of your soul, and your sons and your daughters whom ye have left, by sword they do fall. And ye have done as I have done, on the upper lip ye are not covered, and bread of men ye do not eat. And your bonnets, are, on your heads, and your shoes, are, on your feet, ye do not mourn nor do ye weep, and ye have wasted away for your iniquities, and ye have held one unto another. And Ezekiel hath been to you for a type, according to all that he hath done ye do, in its coming in, ye have known that I, am, the Lord Jehovah. And thou, son of man, is it not in the day of my taking from them their strength, the joy of their beauty, the desire of their eyes, and the song of their soul, their sons and their daughters? In that day come doth the escaped one to thee, to cause the ears to hear. In that day opened is thy mouth with the escaped, and thou speakest, and art not silent any more and thou hast been to them for a type. And they have known that I am Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 25 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face unto the sons of Ammon, and prophesy against them. And thou hast said to the sons of Ammon, Hear ye a word of the Lord Jehovah, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of thy saying, Aha, to my sanctuary, because it hath been polluted, and unto the ground of Israel, because it hath been desolate, and unto the house of Judah, because they have gone into a removal. Therefore, lo, I am giving thee to sons of the east for a possession, 
and they set their towers in thee, and have placed in thee their tabernacles. They eat thy fruit, and they drink thy milk. And I have given Rabbah for a habitation of camels, and the sons of Ammon for the crouching of a flock, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of thy clapping the hand, and of thy stamping with the foot, and thou rejoicest with all thy despite in soul against the ground of Israel. Therefore, lo, I, I have stretched out my hand against thee, and have given thee for a portion to nations, and I have cut thee off from the peoples, and caused thee to perish from the lands, I destroy thee, and thou hast known that I, am, Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of the saying of Moab and Seir, Lo, as all the nations, is, the house of Judah. Therefore, lo, I am opening the shoulder of Moab from the cities, from his cities, from his frontier, the beauty of the land, Beth Jeshemoth, Balmian, and Kiriathaim. To the sons of the east, with the sons of Ammon, and I have given it for a possession so that the sons of Ammon are not remembered among nations. And in Moab I do judgments, and they have known that I am Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of the doings of Edom, in taking vengeance on the house of Judah, yeah, they are very guilty, and they have taken vengeance on them. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, I have stretched out my hand against Edom, and I have cut off from it man and beast, and given it up, a waste, from Taman even to Dedan, by sword they do fall. And I have given my vengeance on Edom, by the hand of my people Israel, and they have done in Edom, according to my anger, and according to my fury, and they have known my vengeance, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of the doings of the Philistines in vengeance, and they take vengeance with despite in soul, to destroy, the enmity age during. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am stretching out my hand against the Philistines, and I have cut off the Cherethim, and destroyed the remnant of the haven of the sea, and done upon them great vengeance with furious reproofs, and they have known that I, am, a Jehovah, in my giving out my vengeance on them. Ezekiel chapter 26 And it cometh to pass, in the eleventh year, in the first of the month, there hath been a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man. Because that Tyre hath said of Jerusalem, Aha, she hath been broken, the doors of the peoples, she hath turned round unto me, I am filled, she hath been laid waste. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, O Tyre, and have caused to come up against thee many nations, as the sea causeth its billows to come up. And they have destroyed the walls of Tyre, and they have broken down her towers, and I have scraped her dust from her, and made her for a clear place of a rock. A spreading place of nets she is in the midst of the sea, for I, I have spoken, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah and she hath been for a spoil to nations. And her daughters who, are, in the field, by sword they are slain, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah. For, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am bringing in unto Tyre Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, from the north, a king of kings, with horse, and with chariot, and with horsemen, even an assembly, and a numerous people. Thy daughters in the field by sword he slayeth, and he hath made against thee a fort, and hath poured out against thee a mount, and hath raised against thee a buckler. And a battering ram before him he placeth against thy walls, and thy towers he breaketh by his weapons. From the abundance of his horses cover thee doth their dust, from the noise of horsemen, and wheel, and rider, shake to thy walls, in his coming into thy gates as the coming into a city broken up. With hoofs of his horses he treadeth all thine outplaces, thy people by sword he doth slay, and the pillars of thy strength to the earth come down. And they have spoiled thy wealth, and they have plundered thy merchandise, and they have thrown down thy walls, 
and thy desirable houses they break down, and thy stones, and thy wood, and thy dust, in the midst of the waters they place. And I have caused the noise of thy songs to cease, and the voice of thy harps is heard no more. And I have given thee up for a clear place of a rock, a spreading place of nets thou art, thou art not built up any more, for I, Jehovah, I have spoken, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah to Tyre, Do not, from the noise of thy fall, in the groaning of the wounded, in the slaying of the slaughter in thy midst, the isles shake. And come down from off their thrones have all princes of the sea, and they have turned aside their robes, and their embroidered garments strip off, trembling they put on, on the earth they sit, and they have trembled every moment, and they have been astonished at thee. And have lifted up for thee a lamentation, and said to thee, How hast thou perished, that art inhabited from the seas, the praised city, that was strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants, who put their terror on all her inhabitants. Now they tremble, is it not the day of thy fall? Troubled have been the isles that, are, in the sea, at thine outgoing. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, in my making thee a city wasted, like cities that have not been inhabited, in bringing up against thee the deep, then covered thee have the great waters. And I have caused thee to go down, with those going down to the pit, unto the people of old, and I have caused thee to dwell in the land, the lower parts, in wastes of old, with those going down to the pit, so that thou art not inhabited, and I have given beauty in the land of the living. Wastes I do make thee, and thou art not, and thou art sought, and art not found any more, to the age, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 27 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, And thou, Son of man, lift up concerning Tyre a lamentation, and thou hast said to Tyre. O dweller on the entrances of the sea, merchant of the peoples unto many isles, thus said the Lord Jehovah, O Tyre, thou, thou hast said, I, am, the perfection of beauty. In the heart of the seas, are, thy borders, thy builders have perfected thy beauty. Of firs of Samir they have built to thee all thy double-boarded ships, of cedars of Lebanon they have taken to make a mast for thee. Of oaks of Bashan they made thine oars, thy bench they have made of ivory, a branch of Ashuram from isles of Chittim. Of fine linen with embroidery from Egypt hath been thy sail, to be to thee for an ensign, of blue and purple from isles of Elisha hath been thy covering. Inhabitants of Zidon and Arvad have been rowers to thee, thy wise men, O Tyre, have been in thee, they, are, thy pilots. Elders of Jebel and its wise men have been in thee, strengthening thy breach, all ships of the sea and their mariners, have been in thee, to trade, with, thy merchandise. Persian and Lud and Phut have been in thy forces, thy men of war. Shield and helmet they hung up in thee, they, they have given out thine honor. The sons of Arvad, and thy force, are, on thy walls round about, and short swordsmen in thy towers have been, their shields they have hung up on thy walls round about, they, they have perfected thy beauty. Tarshish, is, thy merchant, because of the abundance of all wealth, for silver, iron, tin, and lead, they have given out thy remnants. Javan, Tubal, and Meshech, they, are, thy merchants, for persons of men, and vessels of brass, they have given out thy merchandise. They of the house of Tagarma, for, horses, and riding steeds, and mules, they have given out thy remnants. Sons of Dedan, are, thy merchants, many isles, are, the mart of thy hand, horns of ivory and ebony they sent back thy reward. Aram, is, thy merchant, because of the abundance of thy works, for emerald, purple, and embroidery, and fine linen, and coral, and agate, they have given out thy remnants. Judah and the land of Israel, they, 
are, thy merchants, for wheat of minneth, and pan nag, and honey, and oil, and balm, they have given out thy merchandise. Damascus, is, thy merchant, for the abundance of thy works, because of the abundance of all wealth, for wine of hellbon, and white wool. Vaden and Javan go about with thy remnants, they have given shining iron, Kasha, and Cain, in thy merchandise it hath been. Dedan, is, thy merchant, for clothes of freedom for riding. Arabia, and all princes of Kedar, they, are, the traders of thy hand, for lambs, and rams, and he-goats, in these thy merchants. Merchants of Sheba and Rama, they, are, thy merchants, for the chief of all spices, and for every precious stone, and gold, they have given out thy remnants. Haran, and Cana, and Eden, merchants of Sheba, Ashur, Chilmad, are, thy merchants. They, are, thy merchants for perfect things, for wrappings of blue, and embroidery, and for treasuries of rich apparel, with cords bound and girded, for thy merchandise. Ships of Tarshish, are, thy double walls of thy merchandise, and thou art filled and honored greatly, in the heart of the seas. Into great waters have they brought thee, those rowing thee, the east wind hath broken thee in the heart of the seas. Thy wealth and thy remnants, thy merchandise, thy mariners, and thy pilots, strengtheners of thy breach, and the traders of thy merchandise, and all thy men of war, who, are, in thee, and in all thine assembly that, is, in thy midst, fall into the heart of the seas in the day of thy fall. At the voice of the cry of thy pilots shake do the suburbs. And come down from their ships have all handling an oar, mariners, all the pilots of the sea, on the land they stand. And have sounded for thee with their voice, and cry bitterly, and cause dust to go up on their heads, in ashes they do roll themselves. And they have made for thee baldness, and they have girded on sackcloth, and they have wept for thee, in bitterness of soul, a bitter mourning. And lifted up for thee have their sons a lamentation, and they have lamented over thee, who, is, as Tyre? As the cut-off one in the midst of the sea? With the outgoing of thy remnants from the seas, thou hast filled many peoples, with the abundance of thy riches, and thy merchandise, thou hast made rich things of earth. The time of, thy, being broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, thy merchandise, and all thy assembly in thy midst have fallen. All inhabitants of the isles have been astonished at thee, and their kings have been sore afraid, they have been troubled in countenance. Merchants among the peoples have shrieked for thee, wastes thou hast been, and thou art not, to the age. Ezekiel chapter 28 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, say to the leader of Tyre, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Because thy heart hath been high, And thou dost say, A God I, am, The habitation of God I have inhabited, In the heart of the seas, And thou, art, man, and not God, And thou givest out thy heart as the heart of God. Lo, thou, art, wiser than Daniel, no hidden thing have they concealed from thee. By thy wisdom and by thine understanding thou hast made for thee wealth, and makest gold and silver in thy treasuries. By the abundance of thy wisdom, through thy merchandise, thou hast multiplied thy wealth, and high is thy heart through thy wealth. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because of thy giving out thy heart as the heart of God. Therefore, lo, I am bringing in against these strangers, the terrible of the nations, and they have drawn out their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they have pierced thy brightness. To destruction they bring thee down, thou deest by the deaths of the wounded, in the heart of the seas. Dost thou really say, I, am, God, before him who is slaying thee? And thou, art, man, and not God, in the hand of him who is piercing thee. 
The deaths of the uncircumcised thou deest, by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, lift up a lamentation for the king of Tyre, and thou hast said to him, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Thou art sealing up a measurement, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. In Eden, the garden of God, thou hast been, every precious stone thy covering, ruby, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, emerald, and carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets, and of thy pipes, in thee in the day of thy being produced, have been prepared. Thou art an anointed cherub who is covering, and I have set thee in the holy mount, God thou hast been, in the midst of stones of fire thou hast walked up and down. Perfect art thou in thy ways, from the day of thy being produced, till perversity hath been found in thee. By the abundance of thy merchandise they have filled thy midst with violence, and thou dost sin, and I thrust thee from the mount of God, and I destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. High hath been thy heart, because of thy beauty, thou hast corrupted thy wisdom because of thy brightness, on the earth I have cast thee, before kings I have set thee, to look on thee. From the abundance of thy iniquity, by the perversity of thy traffic, thou hast polluted thy sanctuaries, and I bring forth fire from thy midst, it hath devoured thee, and I make thee become ashes on the earth, before the eyes of all beholding thee. All knowing thee among the peoples have been astonished at thee, wastes thou hast been, and thou art not to the age. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face unto Zidon, and prophesy concerning it. And thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, O Zidon, and I have been honored in thy midst, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah, in my doing in her judgments, and I have been sanctified in her. And I have sent into her pestilence, and blood into her outplaces, the wounded hath been judged in her midst, by the sword upon her roundabout, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah. And there is no more to the house of Israel a pricking briar, and paining thorn, of all round about them, despising them, and they have known that I, am, the Lord Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, in my gathering the house of Israel, out of the peoples among whom they were scattered, I have been sanctified in them, before the eyes of the nations, and they have dwelt on their ground, that I gave to my servant, to Jacob. And they have dwelt on it confidently, and builded houses, and planted vineyards, and dwelt confidently, in my doing judgments, on all those despising them round about, and they have known that I, Jehovah, am, their God. Ezekiel chapter 29 In the tenth year, in the tenth, month, in the twelfth of the month, hath a word of Jehovah been unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Pharaoh king of Egypt, and prophesy concerning him, and concerning Egypt all of it. Speak, and thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, Pharaoh king of Egypt. The great dragon that is crouching in the midst of his floods, who hath said, My flood, is, my own, and I, I have made it, for, myself. And I have put hooks in thy jaws, and I have caused the fish of thy floods to cleave to thy scales, and I have caused thee to come up from the midst of thy floods, and every fish of thy floods to thy scales doth cleave. And I have left thee in the wilderness, thou and every fish of thy floods, on the face of the field thou dost fall, thou art not gathered nor assembled, to the beast of the earth and to the fowl of the heavens I have given thee for food. And known have all inhabitants of Egypt that I, am, a Jehovah, because of their being a staff of reed to the house of Israel. In their taking hold of thee by thy hand, thou art crushed, and hast rent to them all the shoulder, and in their leaning on thee thou art broken, 
and hast caused all their thighs to stand. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am bringing in against thee a sword, and have cut off from thee man and beast. And the land of Egypt hath been for a desolation and a waste, and they have known that I am Jehovah. Because he said, The flood is mine, and I made it. Therefore, lo, I am against thee, and against thy floods, and have given the land of Egypt for wastes, a waste, a desolation, from Migdal to Syene, and unto the border of Cush. Not pass over into it doth a foot of man, yea, the foot of beast doth not pass into it, nor is it inhabited forty years. And I have made the land of Egypt a desolation, in the midst of desolate lands, and its cities, in the midst of waste cities, are a desolation forty years, and I have scattered the Egyptians among nations, and I have dispersed them through lands. But thus said the Lord Jehovah, At the end of forty years I gather the Egyptians out of the peoples whither they have been scattered. And I have turned back, to, the captivity of Egypt, and I have brought them back, to, the land of Pathros, to the land of their birth, and they have been there a low kingdom. Of the kingdoms it is lowest, and it lifteth not up itself any more above the nations, and I have made them few, so as not to rule among nations. And it is no more to the house of Israel for a confidence, bringing iniquity to remembrance, by their turning after them, and they have known that I am the Lord Jehovah. And it cometh to pass, in the twenty and seventh year, in the first month, in the first of the month, hath a word of Jehovah been unto me, saying, Son of man, Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, hath caused his force to serve a great service against Tyre, every head is bald, every shoulder peeled, and reward he had none, nor his force, out of Tyre, for the service that he served against it. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am giving to Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon the land of Egypt, and he hath taken away its store, and hath taken its spoil, and taken its prey, and it hath been a reward to his force. His wage for which he labored I have given to him, the land of Egypt in that they wrought for me, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. In that day I caused to shoot up a horn to the house of Israel, and to thee I give an opening of the mouth in their midst, and they have known that I am Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 30 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, and thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, How ye, ha! For the day. For near, is, a day, near, is, a day to Jehovah. A day of clouds, the time of nations it is. And come and hath a sword to Egypt, and there hath been great pain in Cush, in the falling of the wounded in Egypt, and they have taken its store and broken down have been its foundations. Cush, and Phut, and Lud, and all the mixture, and Chub, and the sons of the land of the covenant with them by sword do fall. Thus said Jehovah, and fallen have supporters of Egypt, and come down hath the arrogance of her strength, from Migdal to Syene, by sword they fall in her, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And they have been desolated in the midst of desolate lands, and its cities are in the midst of wasted cities. And they have known that I am Jehovah, in my giving fire against Egypt, and broken have been all her helpers. In that day go forth do messengers from before me in ships, to trouble confident Cush, and there hath been great pain among them, as the day of Egypt, for lo, it hath come. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, I have caused the multitude of Egypt to cease, by the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon. He and his people with him, the terrible of nations, are brought in to destroy the land, and they have drawn their swords against Egypt, and have filled the land, with, the wounded. And I have made floods a dry place, and I have sold the land into the hand of evildoers, 
and I have made desolate the land, and its fullness, by the hand of strangers, Jehovah, have spoken. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, and I have destroyed idols, and caused vain things to cease from Naph, and a prince of the land of Egypt there is no more, and I give fear in the land of Egypt. And I have made Pathros desolate, and I have given fire against Zoan, and I have done judgments in No. And I have poured out my fury on Sin, the stronghold of Egypt, and I have cut off the multitude of No. And I have given fire against Egypt, greatly pained is Sin, and No is to be rent, and Noph hath daily distresses. The youths of Avon and Pibaseth by sword do fall, and these into captivity do go. And into Hafnes hath the day been dark, in my breaking there the yokes of Egypt, and ceased in her hath the excellency of her strength, she a cloud doth cover her, and her daughters into captivity do go. And I have done judgments in Egypt, and they have known that I am Jehovah. And it cometh to pass, in the eleventh year, in the first month, in the seventh of the month, hath a word of Jehovah been unto me, saying, Son of man. The arm of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, I have broken, and lo, it hath not been bound up to give healing, to put a bandage to bind it, to strengthen it, to lay hold on the sword. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and I have broken his arms, the strong one and the broken one, and have caused the sword to fall out of his hand. And scattered the Egyptians among nations, and I have spread them through lands. And strengthened the arms of the king of Babylon, and I have given my sword into his hand, and I have broken the arms of Pharaoh, and he hath grown the groans of a pierced one before him. And I have strengthened the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh do fall down, and they have known that I am a Jehovah, in my giving my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he hath stretched it out toward the land of Egypt. And I have scattered the Egyptians among nations, and I have spread them through lands, and they have known that I am Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 31 And it cometh to pass, in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first of the month, hath a word of Jehovah been unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto Pharaoh king of Egypt, and unto his multitude, To whom hast thou been like in thy greatness? Lo, Ashur, a cedar in Lebanon, fair in branch, and shading bough, and high in stature, and between thickets hath its foliage been. Waters have made it great, the deep hath exalted him with its flowings, going round about its planting and its conduits it hath sent forth unto all trees of the field. Therefore higher hath been his stature than all trees of the field, and multiplied are his boughs, and long are his branches, because of many waters in his shooting forth. In his boughs made a nest hath every fowl of the heavens, and under his branches brought forth hath every beast of the field, and in his shade dwell do all great nations. And he is fair in his greatness, in the length of his thin shoots, for his root hath been by great waters. Cedars have not hid him in the garden of God, firs have not been like unto his boughs, and chestnut trees have not been as his branches, no tree in the garden of God hath been like unto him in his beauty. Fair I have made him in the multitude of his thin shoots, and envy him do all trees of Eden that are in the garden of God. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, because that thou hast been high in stature, and he yieldeth his foliage between thickets, and high is his heart in his haughtiness. I give him into the hand of a God of nations, he dealeth sorely with him, in his wickedness I have cast him out. And cut him off do strangers, the terrible of nations, and they leave him, on the mountains and in all valleys have his thin shoots fallen, and broken are his boughs at all streams of the land, and go down from his shade do all peoples of the land, and they leave him. 
On his ruin dwell do all fowls of the heavens, and on his boughs have been all the beasts of the field. In order that none of the trees of the waters may become haughty because of their stature, nor give their foliage between thickets, nor any drinking waters stand up unto them in their haughtiness, for all of them are given up to death, unto the earth, the lower part, in the midst of the sons of men, unto those going down to the pit. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, In the day of his going down to Sheol I have caused mourning, I have covered for him the deep, and diminish its flowings, and restrained our many waters, and I make Lebanon black for him, and all trees of the field have been covered for him. From the sound of his fall I have caused nations to shake, in my causing him to go down to Sheol, with those going down to the pit, and comforted in the earth, the lower part, are all trees of Eden, the choice and the good of Lebanon, all drinking waters. Also they with him have gone down to Sheol, unto the pierced of the sword, and his arm, they dwelt in his shade in the midst of nations. Unto whom hast thou been thus like, in honor and in greatness among the trees of Eden, and thou hast been brought down with the trees of Eden, unto the earth, the lower part, in the midst of the uncircumcised thou least, with the pierced of the sword? It is Pharaoh, and all his multitude, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 32 And it cometh to pass, in the twelfth year, in the twelfth month, in the first of the month, hath a word of Jehovah been unto me, saying, Son of man, lift up a lamentation for Pharaoh king of Egypt, and thou hast said unto him, A young lion of nations thou hast been like, and thou, art, as a dragon in the seas, and thou comest forth with thy flowings, and dost trouble the waters with thy feet, and thou dost foul their flowings. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, And, I have spread out for thee my net, with an assembly of many peoples, and they have brought thee up in my net. And I have left thee in the land, on the face of the field I do cast thee out, and have caused to dwell upon thee every fowl of the heavens, and have satisfied out of thee the beasts of the whole earth. And I have put thy flesh on the mountains, and filled the valleys, with, thy hugeness. And watered the land with thy flowing, from thy blood unto the mountains, and streams are filled from thee. And in quenching thee I have covered the heavens, and have made black their stars, the sun with a cloud I do cover, and the moon causeth not its light to shine. All luminaries of light in the heavens, I make black over thee and I have given darkness over thy land, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And I have vexed the heart of many peoples, in my bringing in thy destruction among nations, unto lands that thou hast not known. And I have made many peoples astonished at thee, and their kings are afraid at thee with trembling, in my brandishing my sword before their faces, and they have trembled every moment, each for his life, in the day of thy fall. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, A sword of the king of Babylon entereth thee. By swords of the mighty I cause thy multitude to fall, the terrible of nations, all of them, and they have spoiled the excellency of Egypt, and destroyed hath been all her multitude. And I have destroyed all her beasts, from beside many waters, and trouble them not to the foot of man any more, yea, the hoofs of beasts trouble them not. Then do I cause their waters to sink, and their rivers as oil I cause to go, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. In my making the land of Egypt a desolation, and desolated hath been the land of its fullness, in my smiting all the inhabitants in it, and they have known that I am Jehovah. A lamentation it is, and they have lamented her, daughters of the nations do lament her, for Egypt, and for all her multitude, they lament her, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And it cometh to pass, in the twelfth year, in the fifteenth of the month, hath a word of Jehovah been unto me, saying, Son of man, wail for the multitude of Egypt, and cause it to go down, it, and the daughters of honorable nations, unto the earth, the lower parts, with those going down to the pit. 
then whom hast thou been more pleasant? Go down, and be laid with the uncircumcised. In the midst of the pierced of the sword they fall, to, the sword she hath been given, they drew her out, and all her multitude. Speak to him do the gods of the mighty out of the midst of Sheol, with his helpers, they have gone down, they have lain with the uncircumcised, the pierced of the sword. There is Ashur and all her assembly round about him are his graves, all of them are wounded who are falling by sword. Whose graves are appointed in the sides of the pit and her assembly is round about her grave, all of them wounded, falling by sword, because they gave terror in the land of the living. There is Elam and all her multitude round about is her grave, all of them wounded, who are falling by sword, who have gone down uncircumcised unto the earth, the lower parts, because they gave their terror in the land of the living, and they bear their shame with those going down to the pit. In the midst of the wounded they have appointed a bed for her with all her multitude, round about him, are, her graves, all of them uncircumcised, pierced of the sword, for their terror was given in the land of the living and they bear their shame with those going down to the pit, in the midst of the pierced he hath been put. There is Meshech, Tubal, and all her multitude, round about him, are, her graves, all of them uncircumcised, pierced of the sword, for they gave their terror in the land of the living. And they lie not with the mighty, who are falling of the uncircumcised, who have gone down to Sheol with their weapons of war and they put their swords under their heads, and their iniquities are on their bones, for the terror of the mighty, is, in the land of the living. And thou, in the midst of the uncircumcised art broken, and dost lie with the pierced of the sword. There is Edom, her kings, and all her princes, who have been given up in their might, with the pierced of the sword, they with the uncircumcised do lie, and with those going down to the pit. There are princes of the north, all of them, and every Zidonian, who have gone down with the pierced in their terror, of their might they are ashamed, and they lie uncircumcised with the pierced of the sword, and they bear their shame with those going down to the pit. Then doth Pharaoh see, and he hath been comforted for all his multitude, the pierced of the sword, Pharaoh and all his force, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. For I have given his terror in the land of the living, and he hath been laid down in the midst of the uncircumcised, with the pierced of the sword, Pharaoh, and all his multitude, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 33 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the sons of thy people, and thou hast said unto them, A land, when I bring in against it a sword, and the people of the land have taken one man out of their borders, and made him to them for a watchman. And he hath seen the sword coming against the land, and hath blown with a trumpet, and hath warned the people. And the hearer hath heard the voice of the trumpet, and he hath not taken warning, and come and doth the sword, and taketh him away, his blood is on his head. The voice of the trumpet he heard, and he hath not taken warning, his blood is on him, and he who took warning his soul hath delivered. And the watchman, when he seeth the sword coming in, and he hath not blown with a trumpet, and the people hath not been warned, and come in doth a sword, and taketh away of them a soul, he in his iniquity is taken away, and his blood from the hand of the watchman I require. And thou, son of man, a watchman I gave thee to the house of Israel and thou hast heard from my mouth a word, and thou hast warned them from me. In my saying to the wicked, O wicked one, thou dost surely die, and thou hast not spoken to warn the wicked from his way, he, the wicked, in his iniquity doth die, and his blood from thy hand I require. And thou, when thou hast warned the wicked of his way, to turn back from it, and he hath not turned back from his way, he in his iniquity doth die, and thou thy soul hast delivered. And thou, son of man, 
Say unto the house of Israel, Rightly ye have spoken, saying, Surely our transgressions and our sins are upon us, and in them we are wasting away. How, then, do we live? Say unto them, I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, I delight not in the death of the wicked, but in the turning of the wicked from his way, and he hath lived, turn back, turn back, from your evil ways, yea, why do ye die, O house of Israel? And thou, son of man, say unto the sons of thy people, The righteousness of the righteous doth not deliver him in the day of his transgression, and the wickedness of the wicked, he doth not stumble for it in the day of his turning from his wickedness, and the righteous is not able to live in it in the day of his sinning. In my saying of the righteous, he surely liveth, and he hath trusted on his righteousness, and he hath done perversity, all his righteous acts are not remembered, and for his perversity that he hath done, for it he doth die. And in my saying to the wicked, Thou surely deest, and he hath turned back from his sin, and hath done judgment and righteousness. The pledge the wicked restoreth, plunder he repayeth, in the statutes of life he hath walked, so as not to do perversity, he surely liveth, he doth not die. None of his sin that he hath sinned is remembered to him, judgment and righteousness he hath done, he doth surely live. And the sons of thy people have said, The way of the Lord is not pondered, as to them, their way is not pondered. In the turning back of the righteous from his righteousness, and he hath done perversity, he dieth for it. And in the turning back of the wicked from his wickedness, and he hath done judgment and righteousness, by them he liveth. And ye have said, The way of the Lord is not pondered, each according to his ways do I judge you, O house of Israel. And it cometh to pass, in the twelfth year, in the tenth, month, in the fifth of the month, of our removal, come in unto me doth one who is escaped from Jerusalem, saying, The city hath been smitten. And the hand of Jehovah hath been unto me in the evening, before the coming in of the escaped one, and he openeth my mouth till the coming in unto me in the morning, and opened is my mouth, and I have not been silent again. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, the inhabitants of these wastes on the ground of Israel are speaking, saying, Alone hath been Abraham, and he possesseth the land, and we are many, to us hath the land been given for a possession. Therefore say unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, With the blood ye do eat, and your eyes ye lift up unto your idols, and blood ye shed, and the land ye inherit. Ye have stood on your sword, ye have done abomination, each the wife of his neighbor ye have defiled, and the land ye possess. Thus dost thou say unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, I live, do not they who are in the wastes by the sword fall? And they who are on the face of the field, to the beast I have given for food, and they who are in strongholds and in caves by pestilence die. And I have made the land a desolation and an astonishment, and ceased hath the excellency of its strength, and desolated have been mountains of Israel, without any one passing through. And they have known that I am Jehovah, in my making the land a desolation and an astonishment, for all their abominations that they have done. And thou, son of man, the sons of thy people who are speaking about thee, by the walls, and in openings of the houses, have spoken one with another, each with his brother, saying, Come in, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh out from Jehovah. And they come in unto thee as the coming in of a people, and they sit before thee, my people, and have heard thy words, and they do them not, for doting loves with their mouth they are making, after their dishonest gain their heart is going. And lo, thou art to them as a singer of doting loves, a pleasant voice, and playing well on an instrument, and they have heard thy words, and they are not doing them. And in its coming in, lo, it hath come, and they have known that a prophet hath been in their midst. Ezekiel chapter 34 
And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy concerning shepherds of Israel, prophesy, and thou hast said unto them, to the shepherds, thus said the Lord Jehovah, wa, to, the shepherds of Israel, who have been feeding themselves. The flock do not the shepherds feed? The fat ye do eat, and the wool ye put on, the fed one ye slaughter, the flock ye feed not. The weak ye have not strengthened, and the sick one ye have not healed, and the broken ye have not bound up, and the driven away have not brought back, and the lost ye have not sought, and with might ye have ruled them and with rigor. And they are scattered from want of a shepherd, and are for food to every beast of the field, yea, they are scattered. Go astray do my flock on all the mountains, and on every high hill, and on all the face of the land have my flock been scattered, and there is none inquiring, and none seeking. Therefore, shepherds, hear a word of Jehovah. I live an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, if not, because of my flock being for a prey, yea, my flock is for food to every beast of the field, because there is no shepherd and my shepherds have not sought my flock, and the shepherds do feed themselves, and my flock they have not fed. Therefore, O shepherds, hear a word of Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against the shepherds, and have required my flock from their hand, and caused them to cease from feeding the flock, and no more do the shepherds feed themselves, and I have delivered my flock from their mouth and they are not to them for food. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, even I, have required my flock, and I have sought it out. As a shepherd searching of his drove, in the day of his being in the midst of his scattered flock, so I do seek my flock, and have delivered them out of all places, whither they have been scattered, in a day of cloud and thick darkness. And brought them out from the peoples, and have gathered them from the lands, and brought them unto their own ground, and have fed them on mountains of Israel, by streams, and by all dwellings of the land. With good pasture I do feed them, and on mountains of the high place of Israel is their habitation, there do they lie down in a good habitation, and fat pastures they enjoy on mountains of Israel. I feed my flock, and cause them to lie down, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. The lost I seek, and the driven away bring back, and the broken I bind up, and the sick I strengthen, and the fat and the strong I destroy, I feed it with judgment. And you, my flock, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am judging between sheep and sheep, between rams and he goats. Is it a little thing for you, the good pasture ye enjoy? and the remnant of your pasture ye tread down with your feet, and a depth of waters ye do drink, and the remainder with your feet ye trample. And my flock the trodden thing of your feet consumeth, and the trampled thing of your feet drinketh? Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah to them, Lo, I, even I, have judged between fat sheep and lean sheep. Because with side and with shoulder ye thrust away, and with your horns push all the diseased, till ye have scattered them to the out place. And I have given safety to my flock, and they are not any more for prey, and I have judged between sheep and sheep. And have raised up over them one shepherd, and he hath fed them, my servant David, he doth feed them, and he is their shepherd. And I, Jehovah, I am their God, and my servant David prince in their midst, Jehovah, have spoken. And I have made for them a covenant of peace, and caused evil beasts to cease out of the land, and they have dwelt in a wilderness confidently, and they have slept in forests. And I have given them, and the suburbs of my hill, a blessing, and caused the shower to come down in its season, showers of blessing they are. And given hath the tree of the field its fruit, and the land doth give her increase, and they have been on their land confident and they have known that I, am, Jehovah, in my breaking the bands of their yoke, and I have delivered them from the hand of those laying service on them. And they are no more a prey to nations, 
and the beast of the earth devoureth them not, and they have dwelt confidently, and there is none troubling. And I have raised for them a plant for renown, and they are no more consumed by hunger in the land, and they bear no more the shame of the nations. And they have known that I, Jehovah, their God, am, with them, and they, the house of Israel, my people, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, men ye, are, I, am, your God, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 35 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And thou hast said to it, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, O Mount Seir, and have stretched out my hand against thee, and made thee a desolation and an astonishment. Thy cities a waste I make, and thou art a desolation, and thou hast known that I, am, Jehovah. Because of thy having an enmity age during, and thou dost saw the sons of Israel, by the hands of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time of the iniquity of the end. Therefore, I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, surely for blood I do appoint thee, and blood doth pursue thee, if blood thou hast not hated, blood also doth pursue thee. And I have given Mount Seir for a desolation and an astonishment, and have cut off from it him who is passing over and him who is returning. And filled his mountains with his wounded, thy hills, and thy valleys, and all thy streams, the pierced of the sword fall into them. Desolations age during I make thee, and thy cities do not return, and ye have known that I, am, Jehovah. Because of thy saying, the two nations and the two lands are mine, and we have possessed it, and Jehovah hath been there. Therefore, I live, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, and I have done according to thine anger, and according to thine envy, with which thou hast wrought, because of thy hatred against them, and I have been known among them when I judge thee. And thou hast known that I, Jehovah, I have heard all thy despisings that thou hast spoken against mountains of Israel, saying, A desolation, to us they were given for food. And ye magnify yourselves against me with your mouth, and have made abundant against me your words, I, I have heard. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, according to the rejoicing of the whole land, a desolation I make of thee. According to thy joy at the inheritance of the house of Israel because of desolation, so I do to thee, a desolation thou art, O Mount Seir, and all Edom all of it, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 36 And thou, son of man, Prophesy unto mountains of Israel, and thou hast said, O mountains of Israel, hear a word of Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because the enemy said against you, Aha, and the high places of old for a possession have been to us. Therefore, prophesy, and thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because, even because, of desolating, and of swallowing you up from round about for your being a possession to the remnant of the nations, and ye are taken up on the tip of the tongue, and, are, an evil report of the people. Therefore, O mountains of Israel, hear a word of the Lord Jehovah, thus said the Lord Jehovah, to mountains, and to hills, to streams, and to valleys, and to wastes that, are, desolate, and to cities that are forsaken, that have been for a prey, and for a scorn to the remnant of the nations who, are, round about. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, have I not, in the fire of my jealousy, spoken against the remnant of the nations, and against Edom, all of it, who gave my land to themselves for a possession, with the joy of the whole heart, with despite of soul, for the sake of casting it out for a prey? Therefore, prophesy concerning the ground of Israel and thou hast said to mountains, and to hills, to streams, and to valleys, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, in my jealousy, 
and in my fury, I have spoken, because the shame of nations ye have borne. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, I, I have lifted up my hand, do not, the nations who, are, with you from round about, they their own shame bear? And ye, O mountains of Israel, your branch ye give out, and your fruits ye bear for my people Israel, for they have drawn near to come. For, lo, I, am, for you, and have turned to you, and ye have been tilled and sown. And I have multiplied on you men, all the house of Israel, all of it, and the cities have been inhabited, and the wastes are built. And I have multiplied on you man and beast, and they have multiplied and been fruitful, and I have caused you to dwell according to your former states, and I have done better than at your beginnings, and ye have known that I am Jehovah. And I have caused man to walk over you, my people Israel, and they possess thee, and thou hast been to them for an inheritance, and thou dost add no more to bereave them. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, because they are saying to you, A devourer of men, art thou, and a bereaver of thy nations thou hast been. Therefore, man thou devourest no more, and thy nations thou causest not to stumble any more, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And I proclaim not unto thee any more the shame of the nations, and the reproach of peoples thou bearest no more, and thy nations stumble not any more, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel are dwelling on their land, and they defile it by their way and by their doings, as the uncleanness of a separated one hath their way been before me. And I do pour out my fury upon them for the blood that they shed on the land, and with their idols they have defiled it. And I scatter them among nations, and they are spread through lands, according to their way, and according to their doings, I have judged them. And one goeth in unto the nations whither they have gone, and they pollute my holy name by saying to them, The people of Jehovah, are, these, and from his land they have gone forth. And I have pity on my holy name, that the house of Israel have polluted among nations whither they have gone in. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Not for your sake am I working, O house of Israel, but for my holy name, that ye have polluted among nations whither ye have gone in. And I have sanctified my great name, that is profaned among nations, that ye have polluted in your midst, and known have the nations that I am Jehovah, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, in my being sanctified in you before your eyes. And I have taken you out of the nations, and have gathered you out of all the lands, and I have brought you in unto your land. And I have sprinkled over you clean water, and ye have been clean, from all your uncleannesses, and from all your idols, I do cleanse you. And I have given to you a new heart, and a new spirit I give in your midst, and I have turned aside the heart of stone out of your flesh, and I have given to you a heart of flesh. And my spirit I give in your midst, and I have done this, so that in my statutes ye walk, and my judgments ye keep, and have done them. And ye have dwelt in the land that I have given to your fathers, and ye have been to me for a people, and I, I am to you for God. And I have saved you from all your uncleannesses, and I have called unto the corn, and multiplied it, and I have put no famine upon you. And I have multiplied the fruit of the tree, and the increase of the field, so that ye receive not any more a reproach of famine among nations. And ye have remembered your ways that are evil, and your doings that are not good, and have been loathsome in your own faces, for your iniquities, and for your abominations. Not for your sake am I working, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, be it known to you, be ashamed and confounded, because of your ways, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, in the day of my cleansing you from all your iniquities, I have caused the cities to be inhabited, and the wastes have been built. And the desolate land is tilled, 
instead of which it was a desolation before the eyes of every passerby. And they have said, This land, that was desolated, hath been as the Garden of Eden, and the cities, the wasted, and the desolated, and the broken down, fence places have remained. And known have the nations who are left round about you, that I Jehovah have built the throne down, I have planted the desolated, I Jehovah have spoken, and I have done, it. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Yet this I am required, by the house of Israel to do to them, I multiply them as a flock of men. As a flock of holy ones, as a flock of Jerusalem, in her appointed seasons, so are the waste cities full of flocks of men, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 37 There hath been upon me a hand of Jehovah, and he taketh me forth in the spirit of Jehovah, and doth place me in the midst of the valley, and it is full of bones. And he causeth me to pass over by them, all round about, and lo, very many, are, on the face of the valley, and lo, very dry. And he saith unto me, Son of man, do these bones live? And I say, O Lord Jehovah, thou, thou hast known. And he saith unto me, Prophesy concerning these bones, and thou hast said unto them, O dry bones, hear a word of Jehovah. Thus said the Lord Jehovah to these bones, Lo, I am bringing into you a spirit, and ye have lived. And I have given on you sinews, and caused flesh to come up upon you, and covered you over with skin, and given in you a spirit, and ye have lived, and ye have known that I, am, Jehovah. And I have prophesied as I have been commanded, and there is a noise, as I am prophesying, and lo, a rushing, and draw near do the bones, bone unto its bone. And I beheld, and lo, on them, are, sinews, and flesh hath come up, and cover them doth skin over above and spirit there is none in them. And he saith unto me, Prophesy unto the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and thou hast said unto the spirit, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, From the four winds come in, O spirit, and breathe on these slain, and they do live. And I have prophesied as he commanded me, and the Spirit cometh into them, and they live, and stand on their feet a very very great force. And he saith unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel, lo, they are saying, Dried up have our bones, and perished hath our hope, we have been cut off by ourselves. Therefore, prophesy, and thou hast said unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am opening your graves, and have brought you up out of your graves, O my people, and brought you in unto the land of Israel. And ye have known that I, am, Jehovah, in my opening your graves, and in my bringing you up out of your graves, O my people. And I have given my spirit in you, and ye have lived, and I have caused you to rest on your land, and ye have known that I, Jehovah, I have spoken, and I have done, it, an affirmation of Jehovah. And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, And thou, son of man, take to thee one stick, and write on it, for Judah, and for the sons of Israel, his companions, and take another stick, and write on it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and all the house of Israel, his companions and bring them near one unto another, to thee, for one stick, and they have become one in thy hand. And when sons of thy people speak unto thee, saying, Dost thou not declare to us what these, are, to thee? Speak unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am taking the stick of Joseph, that, is, in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his companions, and have given them unto him with the stick of Judah, and have made them become one stick, and they have been one in my hand. And the sticks on which thou writest have been in thy hand before thine eyes. And speak thou unto them, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I am taking the sons of Israel, from among the nations whither they have gone, 
and have gathered them from round about, and I have brought them in unto their land. And I have made them become one nation in the land, on mountains of Israel, and one king is to them all for king, and they are no more as two nations, nor are they divided any more into two kingdoms again. Nor are they defiled any more with their idols, and with their abominations, and with any of their transgressions, and I have saved them out of all their dwellings, in which they have sinned, and I have cleansed them, and they have been to me for a people, and I, I am to them for God. And my servant David, is, king over them, and one shepherd have they all, and in my judgments they go, and my statutes they keep, and have done them. And they have dwelt on the land that I gave to my servant, to Jacob, in which your fathers have dwelt, and they have dwelt on it, they, and their sons, and their sons' sons, unto the age, and David my servant, is, their prince, to the age. And I have made to them a covenant of peace, a covenant age during it is with them, and I have placed them, and multiplied them, and placed my sanctuary in their midst to the age. And my tabernacle hath been over them, and I have been to them for God, and they have been to me for a people. And known have the nations that I Jehovah am sanctifying Israel, in my sanctuary being in their midst to the age. Ezekiel chapter 38 And there is a word of Jehovah unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face unto Gog, of the land of Magog, prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy concerning him. And thou hast said, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, O Gog, prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal. And I have turned thee back, and I have put hooks in thy jaws, and have brought thee out, and all thy force, horses and horsemen, clothed in perfection all of them, a numerous assembly, with buckler and shield, handling swords, all of them. Persia, Cush, and Phut, with them, all of them, with shield and helmet. Gomer and all its bands, the house of Tagarma of the sides of the north and all its bands, many peoples with thee. Be prepared, yea, prepare for thee, thou and all thine assemblies who are assembled unto thee, and thou hast been to them for a guard. After many days thou art appointed, in the latter end of the years thou comest in unto a land brought back from sword, a people, gathered out of many peoples, upon mountains of Israel, that have been for a perpetual waste, and it from the peoples hath been brought out and dwelt safely have all of them. And thou hast gone up, as wasting thou comest in, as a cloud to cover the land art thou, thou, and all thy bands, and many peoples with thee. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, and it hath come to pass in that day, come up do things on thy heart, and thou hast thought an evil thought. And thou hast said, I go up against a land of unwalled villages, I go into those at rest, dwelling confidently, all of them are dwelling without walls, and bar and doors they have not. To take a spoil, and to take a prey, to turn back thy hand on inhabited wastes, and on a people gathered out of nations, making cattle and substance, dwelling on a high part of the land. Sheba, and Dedan, and merchants of Tarshish, and all its young lions say to thee, to take a spoil art thou come in? To take a prey assemble thine assembly? To bear away silver and gold? To take away cattle and substance? To take a great spoil? Therefore, prophesy, son of man, and thou hast said to Gog, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, In that day, in the dwelling of my people Israel safely, dost thou not know? And thou hast come in out of thy place, from the sides of the north, thou and many peoples with thee, riding on horses, all of them, a great assembly, and a numerous force. And thou hast come up against my people Israel, as a cloud to cover the land, in the latter end of the days it is, and I have brought thee in against my land, in order that the nations may know me, in my being sanctified in thee before their eyes, O Gog. 
Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Art thou he of whom I spake in former days, by the hand of my servants, prophets of Israel, who are prophesying in those days, years, to bring thee in against them? And it hath come to pass, in that day, in the day of the coming in of Gog against the land of Israel, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, come up doth my fury in my face. And in my zeal, in the fire of my wrath, I have spoken, is there not in that day a great rushing on the land of Israel? And rushed from my presence have fishes of the sea, and the fowl of the heavens, and the beast of the field, and every creeping thing that is creeping on the ground, and all men who, are, on the face of the ground, and thrown down have been the mountains, and fallen have the ascents, and every wall to the earth falleth. And I have called against him, to all my mountains a sword, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, the sword of each is against his brother. And I have been judged with him, with pestilence and with blood, and an overflowing rain and hailstones, fire and brimstone I rain on him, and on his bands, and on many peoples who, are, with him. And I have magnified myself, and sanctified myself, and I have been known before the eyes of many nations, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 39 And thou, son of man, prophesy concerning Gog, and thou hast said, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Lo, I, am, against thee, O Gog, prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal. And have turned thee back, and enticed thee, and caused thee to come up from the sides of the north, and brought thee in against mountains of Israel. And have smitten thy bow out of thy left hand, yea, thine arrows out of thy right I caused to fall. On mountains of Israel thou fallest, thou, and all thy bands, and the peoples who, are, with thee, to ravenous fowl, a bird of every wing, and, to, a beast of the field, I have given thee for food. On the face of the field thou fallest, for I have spoken, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And I have sent a fire against Magog, and against the confident inhabitants of the isles, and they have known that I, am, Jehovah. And my holy name I make known in the midst of my people Israel, and I pollute not my holy name any more, and known have the nations that I, Jehovah, the Holy One, am, in Israel. Lo, it hath come, and it hath been done, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, it, is, the day of which I spake. And gone out have the inhabitants of cities of Israel, and they have burned and kindled, a fire, with armor, and shield, and buckler, with bow, and with arrows, and with hand staves, and with javelins, and they have caused a fire to burn with them seven years. And they do not take wood out of the field, nor do they hew out of the forests, for with armor they cause the fire to burn, and they have spoiled their spoilers, and they have plundered their plunderers, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And it hath come to pass, in that day, I give to Gog a place there, a grave in Israel, the valley of those passing by, east of the sea, and it is stopping those passing by, and they have buried their Gog, and all his multitude, and have cried, O valley of the multitude of Gog. And the house of Israel have buried them, in order to cleanse the land, seven months. Yea, all the people of the land have buried them, and it hath been to them for a name, the day of my being honored, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And men for continual employment they separate, passing on through the land, burying with those passing by those who are left on the face of the earth, to cleanse it, at the end of seven months they search. And those passing by have passed through the land, and seen a bone of man, and one hath constructed near it a sign till those burying have buried it in the valley of the multitude of Gog. And also the name of the city, is, the multitude, and they have cleansed the land. And thou, son of man, thus said the Lord Jehovah, say to the bird, every wing, and to every beast of the field, be assembled and come in, be gathered from round about, 
for my sacrifice that I am sacrificing for you, a great sacrifice on mountains of Israel, and ye have eaten flesh, and drunk blood. Flesh of the mighty ye do eat, and blood of princes of the earth ye drink, of rams, of lambs, and of he-goats, of calves, fatlings of Bashan, all of them. And ye have eaten fat to satiety, and ye have drunk blood to drunkenness, of my sacrifice that I sacrificed for you. And ye have been satisfied at my table with horse and rider, mighty man, and every man of war, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And I have given my honor among nations, and seen have all the nations my judgment that I have done, and my hand that I have laid on them. And known have the house of Israel that I am Jehovah their God, from that day and henceforth. And known have the nations that for their iniquity, removed have the house of Israel, because they have trespassed against me, and I do hide my face from them, and give them into the hand of their adversaries, and they fall by sword, all of them. According to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions, I have done with them, and I do hide my face from them. Therefore, thus said the Lord Jehovah, Now do I bring back the captivity of Jacob, and I have pitted all the house of Israel, and have been zealous for my holy name. And they have forgotten their shame, and all their trespass that they trespassed against me, in their dwelling on their land confidently and none troubling. In my bringing them back from the peoples, I have assembled them from the lands of their enemies, and I have been sanctified in them before the eyes of the many nations. And they have known that I am Jehovah their God, in my removing them unto the nations, and I have gathered them unto their land, and I leave none of them any more there. And I hide not any more my face from them, in that I have poured out my spirit on the house of Israel, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 40 in the twenty and fifth year of our removal, in the beginning of the year, in the tenth of the month, in the fourteenth year after that the city was smitten, in this selfsame day hath a hand of Jehovah been upon me, and he bringeth me in thither. In visions of God he hath brought me in unto the land of Israel, and causeth me to rest on a very high mountain, and upon it, is, as the frame of a city on the south. And he bringeth me in thither, and lo, a man, his appearance as the appearance of brass, and a thread of flax in his hand, and a measuring reed, and he is standing at the gate. And the man speaketh unto me, Son of man, see with thine eyes, and with thine ears hear, and set thy heart to all that I am shewing thee, for, in order to shew, it thee, thou hast been brought in hither, declare all that thou art seeing to the house of Israel. And lo, a wall on the outside of the house all round about, and in the hand of the man a measuring reed, six cubits by a cubit and a handbreadth, and he measureth the breadth of the building one reed, and the height one reed. And he cometh in unto the gate whose front, is, eastward, and he goeth up by its steps, and he measureth the threshold of the gate one reed broad, even the one threshold one reed broad and the little chamber one reed long and one reed broad, and between the little chambers five cubits, and the threshold of the gate, from the side of the porch of the gate from within, one reed. And he measureth the porch of the gate from within one reed. And he measureth the porch of the gate eight cubits, and its posts two cubits, and the porch of the gates from within. And the little chambers of the gate eastward, three on this side, and three on that side, one measure, is, to them three, and one measure, is, to the posts, on this side and on that side. And he measureth the breadth of the opening of the gate ten cubits, the length of the gate thirteen cubits. And a border before the little chambers, one cubit, and one cubit, is, the border on this side, and the little chamber, is, six cubits on this side, and six cubits on that side. And he measureth the gate from the roof of the one little chamber to the roof of another, the breadth twenty and five cubits, opening over against opening. 
And he mocketh the posts of sixty cubits, even unto the post of the court, the gate all round about. And by the front of the gate of the entrance, by the front of the porch of the inner gate, fifty cubits. And narrow windows, are, unto the little chambers, and unto their posts at the inside of the gate all round about and so to the arches and windows all round about, are, at the inside, and at the post, are, palm trees. And he bringeth me in unto the outer court, and lo, chambers, and a pavement made for the court all round about, thirty chambers on the pavement. And the pavement unto the side of the gates over against the length of the gates, is, the lower pavement. And he measureth the breadth from before the lower gate, to the front of the inner court, on the outside, a hundred cubits, eastward and northward. As to the gate of the outer court whose front, is, northward, he hath measured its length and its breadth. And its little chambers, three on this side, and three on that side, and its posts and its arches have been according to the measure of the first gate, fifty cubits its length, and the breadth five and twenty by the cubit. And its windows, and its arches, and its palm trees, are, according to the measure of the gate whose face, is, eastward, and by seven steps they go up on it, and its arches, are, before them. And the gate of the inner court, is, over against the gate at the north and at the east, and he measureth from gate unto gate, a hundred cubits. And he causeth me to go southward, and lo, a gate southward, and he hath measured its posts and its arches according to these measures. And windows, are, to it and to its arches all round about, like these windows, fifty cubits the length, and the breadth five and twenty cubits. And seven steps, are, its ascent, and its arches, are, before them, and palm trees, are, to it, one on this side, and one on that side, at its posts. And the gate of the inner court, is, southward, and he measureth from gate unto gate southward, a hundred cubits. And he bringeth me in unto the inner court by the south gate, and he measureth the south gate according to these measures. And its little chambers, and its posts, and its arches, are, according to these measures, and windows, are, to it and to its arches all round about, fifty cubits the length, and the breadth twenty and five cubits. As to the arches all round about, the length, is, five and twenty cubits, and the breadth five cubits. And its arches, are, unto the outer court, and palm trees, are, unto its posts, and eight steps, are, its ascent. And he bringeth me in unto the inner court eastward, and he measureth the gate according to these measures. And its little chambers, and its posts, and its arches, are, according to these measures, and windows, are, to it and to its arches all round about, the length fifty cubits, and the breadth five and twenty cubits. And its arches, are, toward the outer court, and palm trees, are, toward its posts, on this side and on that side, and eight steps, are, its ascent. And he bringeth me in unto the north gate, and hath measured according to these measures. Its little chambers, its posts, and its arches, and windows, are, to it all round about, the length fifty cubits, and the breadth five and twenty cubits. And its posts, are, to the outer court, and palm trees, are, unto its posts, on this side and on that side, and eight steps, are, its ascent. And the chamber and its opening, is, by the posts of the gates, there they purge the burnt offering. And in the porch of the gate, are, two tables on this side, and two tables on that side, to slaughter on them the burnt offering, and the sin offering, and the guilt offering. And at the side without, at the going up to the opening of the north gate, are, two tables, and at the other side that, is, at the porch of the gate, are, 
two tables. For tables, R, on this side, and four tables on that side, at the side of the gate, eight tables on which they slaughter. And the four tables for burnt offering, R, of hewn stone, the length one cubit and a half, and the breadth one cubit and a half, and the height one cubit, on them they place the instruments with which they slaughter the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And the boundaries, are, one handbreadth, prepared within all roundabout, and on the tables, is, the flesh of the offering. And on the outside of the inner gate, are, chambers of the singers, in the inner court, that, are, at the side of the north gate, and their fronts, are, southward, one at the side of the east gate, half, the front northward. And he speaketh unto me, this chamber, whose front, is, southward, is, for priests keeping charge of the house. And the chamber, whose front, is, northward, is, for priests keeping charge of the altar, they, are, sons of Zadok, who are drawing near of the sons of Levi unto Jehovah, to serve him. And he measureth the court, the length a hundred cubits, and the breadth a hundred cubits, square, and the altar, is, before the house. And he bringeth me in unto the porch of the house, and he measureth the post of the porch, five cubits on this side, and five cubits on that side, and the breadth of the gate, three cubits on this side, and three cubits on that side. The length of the porch twenty cubits, and the breadth eleven cubits, and by the steps whereby they go up unto it, and pillars, are, at the posts, one on this side, and one on that side. Ezekiel chapter 41 And he bringeth me in unto the temple, and he measureth the posts, six cubits the breadth on this side, and six cubits the breadth on that side, the breadth of the tent. And the breadth of the opening, is, ten cubits, and the sides of the opening, are, five cubits on this side, and five cubits on that side, and he measureth its length forty cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits. And he hath gone inward, and measureth the post of the opening two cubits, and the opening six cubits, and the breadth of the opening seven cubits. And he measureth its length twenty cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits, unto the front of the temple, and he saith unto me, This, is, the holy of holies. And he measureth the wall of the house six cubits, and the breadth of the side chamber four cubits, all round the house round about. And the side chambers, are, side chamber by side chamber, three and thirty times, and they are entering into the wall, which the house hath for the side chambers all round about, to be taken hold of, and they are not taken hold of by the wall of the house. And a broad place and a turning place still upwards, are, to the side chambers, for the turning round of the house, is, still upwards all round about the house, therefore the breadth of the house, is, upwards, and so the lower one goeth up unto the higher by the midst. And I have looked at the house, the height all round about, the foundations of the side chambers, are, the fullness of the reed, six cubits by the joining. The breadth of the wall that, is, to the side chamber at the outside, is, five cubits, and that which is left, is, the place of the side chambers that, are, to the house. And between the chambers, is, a breadth of twenty cubits round about the house, all round about. And the opening of the side chamber, is, to the place left, one opening northward, and one opening southward, and the breadth of the place that is left, is, five cubits all round about. As to the building that, is, at the front of the separate place, at, the corner westward, the breadth, is, seventy cubits, and the wall of the building five cubits broad all round about, and its length ninety cubits. And he hath measured the house, the length, is, a hundred cubits, and the separate place, and the building, and its walls, the length, is, a hundred cubits.
and the breadth of the front of the house, and of the separate place eastward, a hundred cubits. And he hath measured the length of the building unto the front of the separate place that, is, at its hinder part, and its galleries on this side and on that side, a hundred cubits, and the inner temple and the porches of the court. The thresholds, and the narrow windows, and the galleries round about them three, over against the threshold, a ceiling of wood all round about, and the ground unto the windows and the covered windows. Over above the opening, and unto the inner house, and at the outside, and by all the wall all round about within and without, by, measure. And it is made, with, cherubs and palm trees, and a palm tree, is, between cherub and cherub, and two faces, are, to the cherub. And the face of man, is, unto the palm tree on this side, and the face of a young lion unto the palm tree on that side, it is made unto all the house all round about. From the earth unto above the opening, are, the cherubs and the palm trees made, and, on, the wall of the temple. Of the temple the side post, is, square, and of the front of the sanctuary, the appearance, is, as the appearance. Of the altar, the wood, is, three cubits in height, and its length two cubits, and its corners, are, to it, and its length, and its walls, are, of wood, and he speaketh unto me, this, is, the table that, is, before Jehovah. And two doors, are, to the temple and to the sanctuary. And two leaves, are, to the doors, two turning leaves, are, to the doors, two to the one door, and two leaves to the other. And made on them, on the doors of the temple, are, cherubs and palm trees as are made on the walls, and a thickness of wood, is, at the front of the porch on the outside. And narrow windows and palm trees, are, on this side, and on that side, at the sides of the porch, and the side chambers of the house, and the thick places. Ezekiel chapter 42 And he bringeth me forth unto the outer court, the way northward, and he bringeth me in unto the chamber that, is, over against the separate place, and that, is, over against the building at the north. At the front of the length, is, a hundred cubits, at, the north opening, and the breadth fifty cubits. Over against the twenty, cubits, that are to the inner court, and over against the pavement that, is, to the outer court, is, gallery over against gallery, in the three, stories. And at the front of the chambers, is, a walk of ten cubits in breadth unto the inner part, a way of one cubit, and their openings, are, at the north. And the upper chambers, are, short, for the galleries contain more than these, than the lower, and then the middle one, of the building. For they, are, threefold, and they have no pillars as the pillars of the court, therefore it hath been kept back, more than the lower and than the middle one, from the ground. As to the wall that, is, at the outside, over against the chambers, the way of the outer court at the front of the chambers, its length, is, fifty cubits. For the length of the chambers that, are, to the outer court, is, fifty cubits, and of those on the front of the temple a hundred cubits. And under these chambers, is, the entrance from the east, in ones going into them from the outer court. In the breadth of the wall of the court eastward, unto the front of the separate place, and unto the front of the building, are, chambers. And the way before them, is, as the appearance of the chambers that, are, northward, according to their length so, is, their breadth, and all their outlets, and according to their fashions, and according to their openings. And according to the openings of the chambers that, are, southward, is, an opening at the head of the way, the way directly in the front of the wall eastward in entering them. And he saith unto me, the north chambers, the south chambers, that, are, 
at the front of the separate place, they are holy chambers, where the priests, who are near to Jehovah, eat the most holy things, there they place the most holy things, and the present, and the sin offering, and the guilt offering, for the place is holy. In the priests going in, they come not out from the sanctuary unto the outer court, and there they place their garments with which they minister, for they are holy, and have put on other garments, and have drawn near unto that which is for the people. And he hath finished the measurements of the inner house, and hath brought me forth the way of the gate whose front is eastward, and he hath measured it all round about. He hath measured the east side with the measuring reed, five hundred reeds, with the measuring reed round about. He hath measured the north side, five hundred reeds, with the measuring reed round about. The south side he hath measured, five hundred reeds, with the measuring reed. He hath turned round unto the west side, he hath measured five hundred reeds with the measuring reed. At the four sides he hath measured it, a wall, is, to it all round about, the length five hundred, and the breadth five hundred, to separate between the holy and the profane place. Ezekiel chapter 43 And he causeth me to go to the gate, the gate that is looking eastward. And lo, the honor of the God of Israel hath come from the way of the east, and his voice is as the noise of many waters, and the earth hath shone from his honor. And according to the appearance, is, the appearance that I saw, as the appearance that I saw in my coming in to destroy the city, and the appearances, are, as the appearance that I saw at the river Chebar, and I fall on my face. And the honor of Jehovah hath come in unto the house, the way of the gate whose face, is, eastward. And take me up doth the Spirit, and bringeth me in unto the inner court, and lo, the honor of Jehovah hath filled the house. And I hear one speaking unto me from the house, and a man hath been standing near me. And he saith unto me, Son of man, the place of my throne, and the place of the soles of my feet, where I dwell in the midst of the sons of Israel to the age, defile no more do the house of Israel my holy name they, and their kings, by their whoredom, and by the carcasses of their kings, their high places. In their putting their threshold with my threshold, and their doorpost near my doorpost, and the wall between me and them, and they have defiled my holy name, by their abominations that they have done, and I consume them in mine anger. Now do they put far off their whoredom, and the carcasses of their kings, from me and I have dwelt in their midst to the age. Thou, son of man, shew the house of Israel the house, and they are ashamed of their iniquities, and they have measured the measurement. And since they have been ashamed of all that they have done, the form of the house, and its measurement, and its outlets, and its inlets, and all its forms, and all its statutes, even all its forms, and all its laws cause them to know, and write, it before their eyes, and they observe all its forms, and all its statutes, and have done them. This is a law of the house, on the top of the mountain, all its border all round about, is most holy, lo, this is a law of the house. And these are measures of the altar by cubits, the cubit is a cubit and a handbreadth, and the center is, a cubit, and a cubit the breadth, and its border on its edge round about, is, one span, and this, is, the upper part of the altar. And from the center of the ground unto the lower border, is, two cubits, and the breadth one cubit, and from the lesser border unto the greater border four cubits, and the breadth a cubit. And the altar, is, four cubits, and from the altar and upward, are four horns. And the altar is twelve long by twelve broad, square in its four squares. And the border is fourteen long by fourteen broad, at its four squares, and the border round about it is 
half a cubit, and the center to it, is, a cubit roundabout, and its steps are looking eastward. And he saith unto me, Son of man, thus said the Lord Jehovah, These, are, statutes of the altar in the day of its being made to cause burnt offering to go up on it, and to sprinkle on it blood. And thou hast given unto the priests, the Levites, who, are, of the seed of Zadok, who are near unto me, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, to serve me, a calf from the herd, for a sin offering. And thou hast taken of its blood, and hast put it on its four horns, and on the four corners of its border, and on the border round about, and hast cleansed it, and purified it. And thou hast taken the bullock of the sin offering, and hast burnt it in the appointed place of the house at the outside of the sanctuary. And on the second day thou dost bring near a kid of the goats, a perfect one, for a sin offering, and they have cleansed the altar, as they cleansed, it, for the bullock. In thy finishing cleansing, thou dost bring near a calf, a son of the herd, a perfect one, and a ram out of the flock, a perfect one. And thou hast brought them near before Jehovah, and the priests have cast upon them salt, and have caused them to go up, a burnt offering to Jehovah. Seven days thou dost prepare a goat for a sin offering daily, and a bullock, a son of the herd, and a ram out of the flock, perfect ones, do they prepare. Seven days they purify the altar, and have cleansed it, and filled their hand. And the days are completed, and it hath come to pass on the eighth day, and henceforth, the priests prepare on the altar your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, and I have accepted you an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 44 And he causeth me to turn back the way of the gate of the outer sanctuary that is looking eastward, and it is shut. And Jehovah saith unto me, This gate is shut it is not opened, and none doth go in by it, for Jehovah, God of Israel, hath come in by it, and it hath been shut. The prince, who, is, prince, he sitteth by it to eat bread before Jehovah, by the way of the porch of the gate he cometh in, and by its way he goeth out. And he bringeth me in the way of the north gate unto the front of the house, and I look, and lo, filled hath the honor of Jehovah the house of Jehovah, and I fall on my face. And Jehovah saith unto me, Son of man, set thy heart, and see with thine eyes, and with thine ears hear, all that I am speaking with thee, of all the statutes of the house of Jehovah, and of all its laws, and thou hast set thy heart to the entrance of the house, with all the outlets of the sanctuary. And hast said unto the rebellious, unto the house of Israel, thus said the Lord Jehovah, enough to you of all your abominations, O house of Israel. In your bringing in sons of a stranger, uncircumcised of heart, and uncircumcised of flesh, to be in my sanctuary, to pollute it, even my house, in your bringing near my bread, fat, and blood, and they break my covenant by all your abominations. And ye have not kept the charge of my holy things, and ye set, them, for keepers of my charge in my sanctuary for you. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, No son of a stranger, uncircumcised of heart, and uncircumcised of flesh, cometh in unto my sanctuary, even any son of a stranger, who, is, in the midst of the sons of Israel. But, the Levites who have gone far off from me, in the wandering of Israel when they went astray from me after their idols, and they have borne their iniquity. And they have been in my sanctuary ministrants, overseers at the gates of the house, and ministrants at the house, they slay the burnt offering and the sacrifice for the people, and they stand before them to serve them. Because that they serve them before their idols, and have been to the house of Israel for a stumbling block of iniquity, Therefore I have lifted up my hand against them, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah, and they have borne their iniquity. And they draw not nigh unto me to act as my priest, and to draw nigh unto any of my holy things, unto the holy of holies, and they have borne their shame and their abominations that they have done.
and I made them keepers of the charge of the house, for all its service and for all that is done in it. And the priests, the Levites, sons of Zadok, who have kept the charge of my sanctuary in the wandering of the sons of Israel from off me, they draw near unto me to serve me, and have stood before me, to bring near to me fat and blood and affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. They come in unto my sanctuary, and they draw near unto my table to serve me, and they have kept my charge. And it hath come to pass, in their going in unto the gates of the inner court, linen garments they put on, and no will cometh up on them in their ministering in the gates of the inner court and within. Linen bonnets are on their head, and linen trousers are on their loins, they are not restrained with sweat. And in their going forth unto the outer court unto the outer court unto the people, they strip off their garments, in which they are ministering, and have placed them in the holy chambers, and have put on other garments, and they do not sanctify the people in their own garments. And their head they do not shave, and the lock they do not send forth, they certainly pull their heads. And no priest doth drink wine in their coming in unto the inner court. And a widow and divorced woman they do not take to them for wives, but the virgins of the seed of the house of Israel, and the widow who is widow of a priest, do they take. And my people they direct between holy and common, and between unclean and clean they cause them to discern. And concerning controversy, they stand up for judgment, with my judgments they judge it, and my law and my statutes in all my appointed places they keep, and my sabbaths they sanctify. And unto any dead man they come not for uncleanness, but for father, and for mother, and for son, and for daughter, for brother, for sister who hath not been to a man, they defile themselves. And after his cleansing, seven days they number to him. And in the day of his coming in unto the sanctuary, unto the inner court, to minister in the sanctuary, he bringeth anear his sin offering an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And it hath been to them for an inheritance, am, their inheritance, and a possession ye do not give to them in Israel, a, am, their possession. The present and the sin offering and the guilt offering they do eat and every devoted thing in Israel is theirs. And the first of all the first fruits of all, and every heave offering of all, of all your heave offerings, are the priests, and the first of your do ye give to the priest, to cause a blessing to rest on thy house. Any carcass and torn thing, of the fowl, and of the beasts, the priests do not eat. Ezekiel chapter 45 and in your causing the land to fall an inheritance, ye lift up a heave offering to Jehovah, a holy portion of the land, the length five and twenty thousand, is the length and the breadth ten thousand, it is holy in all its border roundabout. There is of this for the sanctuary five hundred by five hundred square roundabout, and fifty cubits of suburb is to it roundabout. And by this measure thou dost measure, the length, is, five and twenty thousand, and the breadth ten thousand, and in it is the sanctuary, the holy of holies. The holy, portion, of the land it, is, for priests, ministrants of the sanctuary, it is, who are drawing near to serve Jehovah, and it hath been to them a place for houses, and a holy place for a sanctuary. And of the five and twenty thousand of length, and of the ten thousand of breadth, there is to the Levites, ministrants of the house, for them, for a possession, twenty chambers. And of the possession of the city ye give five thousand of breadth, and of length five and twenty thousand, over against the heave offering of the holy, portion, to all the house of Israel it is. As to the prince, on this side, and on that side, of the heave offering of the holy place, and of the possession of the city, at the front of the heave offering of the holy place, and at the front of the possession of the city, from the west corner westward, and from the east corner eastward, and the length, is, over against one of the portions from the west border unto the east border. 
Of the land there is to him for a possession in Israel, and my princes do not oppress any more my people, and the land they give to the house of Israel according to their tribes. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Enough to you, princes of Israel, violence and spoil turn aside, and judgment and righteousness do, lift up your exactions from off my people, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Just balances, and a just ephah, and a just bath, ye have. The ephah and the bath is of one measure, for the bath to bear a tenth of the homer, and the ephah a tenth of the homer, according to the homer is its measurement. And, the shekel, is, twenty gira, twenty shekels, five and twenty shekels, fifteen shekels, is your maniamaya. This, is, the heave offering that ye lift up, a sixth part of the ephah of a homer of wheat, also ye have given a sixth part of the ephah of a homer of barley. And the portion of oil, the bath of oil, a tenth part of the bath out of the suar, a homer of ten baths, for ten baths, are, a homer. And one lamb out of the flock, out of two hundred, out of the watered country of Israel, for a present, and for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings, to make atonement by them, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. All the people of the land are at this heave offering for the prince in Israel. And on the prince are the burnt offerings, and the present, and the libation, in feasts, and in new moons, and in sabbaths, in all appointed times of the house of Israel, he doth make the sin offering, and the present, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings, to make atonement for the house of Israel. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, In the first, month, in the first of the month, thou dost take a bullock, a son of the herd, a perfect one, and hast cleansed the sanctuary. And the priest hath taken of the blood of the sin offering, and hath put on the doorpost of the house, and on the four corners of the border of the altar, and on the post of the gate of the inner court. And so thou dost do on the seventh of the month, because of each erring one, and because of the simple one, and ye have purified the house. In the first month, in the fourteenth day of the month, ye have the Passover, a feast of seven days, unleavened food is eaten. And the prince hath prepared on that day, for himself, and for all the people of the land, a bullock, a sin offering. And the seven days of the feast he prepareth a burnt offering to Jehovah, seven bullocks, and seven rams, perfect ones, daily seven days, and a sin offering, a kid of the goats, daily. And a present of an ephah for a bullock, and an ephah for a ram, he doth prepare, and of oil a hin for an ephah. In the seventh, month, in the fifteenth day of the month, in the feast, he doth according to these things seven days, as the sin offering so the burnt offering, and as the present so also the oil. Ezekiel chapter 46 Thus said the Lord Jehovah, the gate of the inner court that is looking eastward is shut the six days of work, and on the day of rest it is opened, and in the day of the new moon it is opened. And come and hath the prince the way of the porch of the gate at the outside, and he hath stood by the post of the gate, and the priests have made his burnt offering, and his peace offerings, and he hath bowed himself by the opening of the gate, and hath gone forth, and the gate is not shut till the evening and bowed themselves have the people of the land at the opening of that gate, on Sabbaths, and on new moons, before Jehovah. And the burnt offering that the prince bringeth near to Jehovah on the day of rest, is, six lambs, perfect ones, and a ram, a perfect one. And the present, is, an ephah for a ram, and for the lambs a present, the gift of his hand, and of oil a hin for an ephah. And on the day of the new moon a bullock, a son of the herd, a perfect one, and six lambs and a ram, they are perfect. And with an ephah for a bullock, and an ephah for a ram, he prepareth a present, and for the lambs as his hand attaineth, and of oil a hin for an ephah. And in the coming in of the prince, the way of the porch of the gate he cometh in, 
and by its way he goeth out. And in the coming in of the people of the land before Jehovah at appointed times, he who hath come in the way of the north gate to bow himself, goeth out the way of the south gate, and he who hath come in the way of the south gate, goeth out by the way of the north gate, he doth not turn back the way of the gate by which he came in, but over against it he goeth out. And the prince in their midst in their coming in cometh in, and in their going out he goeth out. And in feasts, and in appointed times, the present is an ephah for a bullock, and an ephah for a ram, and for lambs the gift of his hand, and of oil a hin for an ephah. And when the prince mocketh a freewill burnt offering, or freewill peace offerings, to Jehovah, then he hath opened for himself the gate that is looking eastward, and he hath made his burnt offering and his peace offerings as he doth in the day of rest, and he hath gone out, and he hath shut the gate after his going out. And a lamb, son of a year, a perfect one, thou dost make a burnt offering daily to Jehovah, morning by morning thou dost make it. And a present thou dost make for it morning by morning, a sixth part of the ephah, and of oil a third part of the hin, to temper with the fine flour, a present to Jehovah, by a statute age during continually. And prepare ye the lamb, and the present, and the oil, morning by morning, a continual burnt offering. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, when the prince giveth a gift to any of his sons, his inheritance it, is, to his sons it, is, their possession it, is, by inheritance. And when he giveth a gift out of his inheritance to one of his servants, then it hath been to him till the year of freedom, and it hath turned back to the prince, only the inheritance of his sons is theirs. And the prince doth not take of the inheritance of the people to oppress them, out of their possession, out of his own possession he doth cause his sons to inherit, so that my people are not scattered each from his possession. And he bringeth me in through the entrance that, is, by the side of the gate, unto the holy chambers, unto the priests, that are looking northward, and lo, there, is, a place in their two sides westward. And he saith unto me, This, is, the place where the priests do boil the guilt offering and the sin offering, where they bake the present, so as not to bring, it, out unto the outer court, to sanctify the people. And he bringeth me out unto the outer court, and causeth me to pass over unto the four corners of the court, and lo, a court in a corner of the court, a court in a corner of the corner. In the four corners of the court, are, perfume courts, forty long, and thirty broad, one measure, is, to the four corners. And a row, is, round about in them, round about to them four, and made with boilers under the rows round about. And he saith unto me, These, are, the houses of those boiling where the ministrants of the house boil the sacrifice of the people. Ezekiel chapter 47 And he causeth me to turn back unto the opening of the house, and lo, water is coming forth from under the threshold of the house eastward, for the front of the house, is, eastward, and the water is coming down from beneath, from the right side of the house, from the south of the altar. And he causeth me to go out the way of the gate northward, and causeth me to turn round the way without, unto the gate that, is, without, the way that is looking eastward, and lo, water is coming forth from the right side. In the going out of the man eastward, and a line in his hand, then he measureth a thousand by the cubit, and he causeth me to pass over into water, water to the ankles. And he measureth a thousand, and causeth me to pass over into water, water to the knees. And he measureth a thousand, and causeth me to pass over, water to the loins. And he measureth a thousand, a stream that I am not able to pass over, for risen have the waters, waters to swim in, a stream that is not passed over. And he saith unto me, Hast thou seen, son of man, and he letteth me, and bringeth me back unto the edge of the stream. In my turning back, then, lo, at the edge of the stream, are, very many trees, on this side and on that side. 
And he saith unto me, These waters are going forth unto the east circuit, and have gone down unto the desert, and have entered the sea, unto the sea they are brought forth, and the waters have been healed. And it hath come to pass, every living creature that teemeth, whithersoever the streams come, doth live, and there hath been great abundance of fish, for these waters have come thither, and they are healed, and every thing whither the stream cometh hath lived. And it hath come to pass, fishers do stand by it, from Engadi even unto Enaglaim, a spreading place of nets they are, according to their own kind is their fish, as the fish of the great sea, very many. Its miry and its marshy places, they are not healed, to salt they have been given up. And by the stream there cometh up on its edge, on this side and on that side, every, kind of, fruit tree whose leaf fadeth not, and not consumed is its fruit, according to its months it yieldeth first fruits, because its waters from the sanctuary are coming forth, and its fruits hath been for food, and its leaf for medicine. Thus said the Lord Jehovah, This, is, the border whereby ye inherit the land, according to the twelve tribes of Israel, Joseph, hath, portions. And ye have inherited it, one as well as another, in that I have lifted up my hand to give it to your fathers, and this land hath fallen to you in inheritance. And this, is, the border of the land at the north quarter, from the great sea, the way of Hethlon, at the coming into Zedad. Hamath, Barotha, Sibraim, that, is, between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, Hazar Hadakan, that, is, at the coast of Havran. And the border from the sea hath been Hazar Anan, the border of Damascus, and Zaphon at the north, and the border of Hamath, and, this is, the north quarter. And the east quarter, is, from between Havran, and Damascus, and Gilead, and the land of Israel, to, the Jordan, from the border over against the eastern sea ye measure, and, this is, the east quarter. And the south quarter southward, is, from Tamar unto the waters of Meribah Kadesh, the stream unto the great sea, and, this is, the south quarter southward. And the west quarter, is, the great sea, from the border till over against the coming into Hamath, this, is, the west quarter. And ye have divided this land to you, according to the tribes of Israel. And it hath come to pass, ye separate it for an inheritance to yourselves, and to the sojourners who are sojourning in your midst, who have begotten sons in your midst, and they have been to you as native, with the sons of Israel. With you they are separated for an inheritance in the midst of the tribes of Israel. And it hath come to pass, in the tribe with which the sojourner sojourneth, there ye give his inheritance, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. Ezekiel chapter 48 And these, are, the names of the tribes, from the north end unto the side of the way of Hethlon, at the coming into Hamath, Hazar Anan the border of Damascus northward, unto the side of Hamath, and they have been his, side east and west, Dan 1. And by the border of Dan, from the east side unto the west side, Asher 1. And by the border of Asher, from the east side even unto the west side, Naphtali 1. And by the border of Naphtali, from the east side unto the west side, Manasseh 1. And by the border of Manasseh, from the east side unto the west side, Ephraim 1. And by the border of Ephraim, from the east side even unto the west side, Reuben 1. And by the border of Reuben, from the east side unto the west side, Judah 1. And by the border of Judah, from the east side unto the west side is the heave offering that ye lift up, five and twenty thousand broad and long as one of the parts, from the east side unto the west side, and the sanctuary hath been in its midst. The heave offering that ye lift up to Jehovah, is, five and twenty thousand long, and broad ten thousand. And of these is the holy heave offering for the priests, northward five and twenty thousand, and westward, 
in breadth 10,000, and eastward, in breadth 10,000, and southward, in length 5 and 20,000, and the sanctuary of Jehovah hath been in its midst. For the priests who are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, who have kept my charge, who erred not in the erring of the sons of Israel, as the Levites erred. Even the heave offering hath been to them, out of the heave offering of the land, most holy, by the border of the Levites. And, to the Levites over against the border of the priests, are, five and twenty thousand, in, length, and, in, breadth ten thousand, all the length, is, five and twenty thousand, and the breadth ten thousand. And they do not sell of it, nor exchange, nor cause to pass away the first fruit of the land, for, it is, holy to Jehovah. And the five thousand that is left in the breadth, on the front of the five and twenty thousand, is common, for the city, for dwelling, and for suburb, and the city hath been in its midst. And these, are, its measures, the north side five hundred, and four thousand, and the south side five hundred, and four thousand, and on the east side five hundred, and four thousand, and the west side five hundred, and four thousand. And the suburb to the city hath been northward, fifty and two hundred, and southward, fifty and two hundred, and eastward, fifty and two hundred, and westward, fifty and two hundred. And the residue in length over against the heave offering of the holy portion is, ten thousand eastward, and ten thousand westward, and it hath been over against the heave offering of the holy portion, and its increase hath been for food to the servants of the city. Even, to, him who is serving the city, they serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. All the heave offering, is, five and twenty thousand by five and twenty thousand, square d lift up the heave offering of the holy portion, with the possession of the city. And the residue, is, for the prince, on this side and on that side of the heave offering of the holy portion, and of the possession of the city, on the front of the five and twenty thousand of the heave offering unto the east border, and westward, on the front of the five and twenty thousand on the west border, over against the portions of the prince, and the heave offering of the holy portion, and the sanctuary of the house, hath been in its midst. And from the possession of the Levites, from the possession of the city, in the midst of that which is to the prince, between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin, there is to the prince. As to the rest of the tribes, from the east side unto the west side, Benjamin won. And by the border of Benjamin, from the east side unto the west side, Simeon won. And by the border of Simeon, from the east side unto the west side, Issachar won. And by the border of Issachar, from the east side unto the west side, Zebulun won. And by the border of Zebulun, from the east side unto the west side, Gad won. And by the border of Gad, at the south side southward, the border hath been from Tamar, to, the waters of Meribah Gadesh, the stream by the great sea. This, is, the land that ye separate by inheritance to the tribes of Israel, and these, are, their portions, an affirmation of the Lord Jehovah. And these, are, the outgoings of the city on the north side, five hundred, and four thousand measures. And the gates of the city, are, according to the names of the tribes of Israel, three gates northward, the gate of Reuben one, the gate of Judah one, the gate of Levi one. And on the east side five hundred, and four thousand, and three gates, the gate of Joseph one, the gate of Benjamin one, the gate of Dan one. And the south side five hundred, and four thousand measures, and three gates, the gate of Simeon one, the gate of Issachar one, the gate of Zebulun one. The west side five hundred, and four thousand, their gates three, the gate of Gad one, the gate of Asher one, the gate of Naphtali one. Roundabout, is, eighteen thousand, 
and the renown of the city, is, from the day Jehovah, is, there.